Uh, all right, Pharrell, Mike. Pharrell knew who had the best fries. You, should, you heard where he was at. It's <laughs> a good point, Mom. See? What is that? What did he say? He's outside of Popeye's eating, huh? Chicken and fries. There you go. Oh, if you I mean, don't knock it the fuck Could have been the closest off. thing in the vicinity. Popeye's has the best fries. You know rappers just be wanting to rhyme shit. <laughs> That's <laughs> it. Pop- just Popeye's be and to fries rhyme. was the easy joint. Yeah, you could say, uh, uh, you couldn't say uh, chilies and fries, Applebee's and fries. He could have said crown fried. Can I introduce the, the podcast? They know who it is. They know what they came to see. <laughs> Damn, that's how you feeling? I mean, they know. Damn. They know what it is. Y'all want to get right into it? Hey, listen, fuck. No, 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 man, no. <laughs> Wait, uh, welcome to the Joe Button Podcast. Well, save on the do. Episode two twenty nine. Episode two. God damn, I can't wait to get out of that. Uh, episode two twenty nine of the Joe Button podcast. I'm your humble and gracious host, Joe Button, here with a few of my nearest and dearest friends. Maul is here. Parks is here. Rory is here. Erickson is here. Savon the Do is here. Gentlemen, how is everyone feeling? Gang. Fantastic. All right, word. Check this out. I don't want to go. Fuck y'all feelings. Let's just get into it. Listen, I don't want to go. I just want to say before you start. I told y'all. Okay. Me today. You tomorrow. Everybody laughed me out the building. Well, we still laughed. Okay. <laughs> well, welcome, welcome to welcome to the party. No, I'm not at that. Party. No, you're there. You're here. No, no you're you're here. I in and out. <laughs> Just came to see what was going yeah, on. In and out. See okay. my homies in the bullpen. Yeah. Okay. And that's it. I'm oh, turning okay. right around. Okay. Now, now, listen. Uh, first of all, shout out to our Spotify listenership. Shout out to our YouTube viewership. Uh, shout out to who? Who? Damn! Somebody asked for a shout out. Like, the restaurant workers asked for a shout out. I'm specifically like, no, the no, chefs, no, no, but I, I want to give that to them. the chefs. Yeah. All right. Shout out to the chefs. There was somebody else that was like important that I don't remember now. Fuck. They'll hit you and remind you. Don't worry about it. Get them on two thirty. <laughs> it was a good one too. I was like, damn. Now nah, y'all get that. Y'all, y'all need that love. Uh, but shout out to everybody listening. Shout out to the hustlers, the scammers. Uh, shout out to the chefs, the babysitters, shout out to the school kids, shout out to the unemployed people, uh, shout out to the people with multiple families, uh, shout out to who else is out there, the creators and the authors, of course. Shout out to the people that's just trying to figure it out, man. Oh my God, there's a lot of y'all. Round of applause for the people just yeah. trying to figure it out. Actually, no, because a lot of this podcast, I'm going to shit on people that are trying to figure it out. Uh, but shout out to the positive people out there that are trying to figure yes. it out. Because you could try to figure it out and just commit just nastiness out there so shout out to the positive people trying to figure it out shout out to the hedge fund people the immature and mature audiences watching shout out to captain marvel just because (laughs) okay Okay. did anybody here see captain marvel no No. we're not starting with captain marvel so last week we're gonna start with a humble apology because last week last week i i seem to have unintentionally offended uh a few people I, I want to start with that's never my intention. If you're a new listener here, this is not a hateful podcast. I'm not a hateful person. I'm not in love. Love isn't me. I try to practice it. I love, 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 love our people. And in the midst of a conversation about cultural appropriation, somehow the exact opposite sentiment is what got out to some. And and to some, some people thought that I was saying just horrible things about carnival, horrible things about the costumes involved. Horrible things about the women that wear costumes to carnival, what it means, what it symbolizes. Let me start with that would never be the case. That would just never, 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 never be the case. That couldn't be furthest from my views, my thoughts, my feelings. And nor did I think anything I said last week sounded that way. Uh, however, there's some people in our audience that brought up some valid points and just just with the mere the mere the, the tone that was used. Uh, mentioning Carnival and the conversations that follow it being freak Nick. I can understand, rightfully so, how some people are offended. So I would like to apologize for that, that it didn't sit well with my soul and my spirit. Uh, I'm blaming the duh. You're supposed to write this stuff down. <laughs> <laughs> I'm joking. I'm not blaming anybody. That's not the hill, that's not the hill to die on. Uh, I don't happen to the benefit of the doubt. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell? Did, where did that go? <laughs> that doubt, that Don't died on Doubt Hill. I want the benefit of the doubt to come back. Nah, I'm well, saying. nah, it's never coming back. Yeah, never. But ain't that fucked up? What's the opposite? What's the opposite of the benefit? Cancel. I <laughs> right. yeah, but you getting the cancel of the doubt? Yeah, but but <laughs> see, and, and that's why you know, I try to reserve judgment sometimes because in cancellation of people or in making such 
bold accusatory statements or just tarnishing someone's reputation, moral compass or character, you better be for certain of what you're saying. And some of the things that are just spread, it's just it's just not true. Maul came in telling me that his homegirl tried to buy a cruise and at the top it said Joe Budden hates Caribbean people. Yeah, that's what it said, bro. Thanks. And uh, <laughs> did she know. did she did she still purchase? I'm not sure. Which is fucked up because I want to go on a cruise. <laughs> <laughs> You've been canceled from all cruises. No, don't don't do that. So I want to I want to start with an apology because there are a bunch of people during the rest of this podcast that are not going to receive an apology, and we're going to talk mad shit about. Uh, <laughs> let me also start with telling the new listeners that it that this is not this is not a PC friendly environment. Uh this is a safe haven for men and some women. <laughs> this is supposed to be a safe space. <laughs> We're yeah. just kicking it with my own voice. Or a way for women to look into the safe spaces that men have. Yes, Ooh. yes, yes. Like, I like let's get some more information of how maybe we think when we're just around our friends and can speak freely. Hmm. And my beef with that whole benefit of the doubt thing is, is this. Most of, you know, because information... Uh, information comes about so fast today so a lot of people just are not doing research i thought it was pretty easy to research and see that joe doesn't hate caribbean people my fiance is caribbean <laughs> no matter but you can't say that because then you sound like mm. the racist with the black friend no. yeah yeah that's counting all the but black I, the i'm just talking honestly, about people i listen i'm apologizing to the people in our audience who were offended because you had valid points i'm yeah. not saying a fucking peep Listen, I will not be held responsible for people that recognize this podcast getting popular and clout chasing. I'm, I'm not going to be held responsible for that. That That's a totally different thing. Y'all that's taken like six seconds of some shit to push an agenda and weaponize emotion. I'm not getting into that right now, but nah. I'm not apologizing to those those people. That wasn't well, my no, message. No, no, we, we, can, we can get into that. Because you have people that may not be too familiar with this podcast or may just be familiar with the name Joe Budden. And Caribbean people are extremely proud. And I mean that in a really, really admirable way. I admire how, admire how course, proud they are. Of course. So when they just follow a page that's just about their culture and the headline says uh, chicks are hoes in their Caribbean outfits, they're going to jump on it. Yeah. So I don't blame any of the people that were outraged at... That oh, me fact, either. I, I, blame I blame the people that are pumping that yes, narrative I, I blame when it was quite that. the opposite, that the comment that was made was in taste of <clears throat> women that know nothing about this culture are putting on outfits just because they want to be promiscuous. There's nothing to do with and that culture. And you can't tell me I'm lying because I, I know some of them that's there. <laughs> they know nothing about it. I'm they think it's a dress up thing, yeah, which is worse. We're with y'all. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, man. But you're 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 one hundred percent correct, uh, Rory. I totally understand that. And that's why, you know, I spent a large part of the weekend just laughing because y'all know how hard I try to be responsible with this platform. Yeah. I try. Even through the bad episodes. Like, it's because Joe is trying to do the right thing. So I get mad when other platforms are not. Mm. Cause then that just wouldn't happen. And then the other shit that fucks me up about that is most of the most of the headlines that I deem to be horrendous when when I see them, like on the flip side, I totally understand why they're very believable for people because we're in this this uh, microwave era where you need, need everything rapidly, information included. Most of the shit that that a casual fan knows about Joe is coming from a meme, some Instagrammable shit, uh, a moment of me being a fuckhead in an interview. I didn't want to let everybody know I would not I would not be in the position that I'm in if I were the fuckhead that y'all think I am from the memes. <laughs> it's important it's important for me to say that because people are not doing research. I like I'd be I was offended, I was hurt that that some people some people felt that some of the things that were being said could be true. Oh, it's nastiness. Nastiness, nasty. I'd have gave myself the nasty award. But we just need to do more research. Like we're gonna have some conversations later on this podcast, and I'm gonna I'm gonna point out how 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 behaviors are a consistent thing for some people when they feel a certain way. Like it's it's not it's not hard to identify, is what I'm saying. Actually, yeah, I'm I'm, I'm cool with that unless y'all have some. You no, know, but it was it, you know going back to what you said, a lot of it because even when you know they was came at me a couple weeks ago saying they you know the dark skin women thing that I didn't 
I don't like dark skinned girls, whatever that stupid shit was they ran mm-hmm. with. We just in an era where it's easy for people to jump behind something because it's it's more followers than there are leaders. And people are just quick to follow, 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 and not know what they're following. So if somebody says, Oh yeah, this person, ah, da, 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 people will just jump behind that and don't even know what they're following. Like we're we're in a generation where you could literally lead people to nothing. Like that fire festival shit was literally just leading people to nothing. It was an idea. I think that everybody assumes that when someone puts something up, it's researched and thought out. But that's my problem. Like we have to, you just have to start thinking for yourselves. Like whatever happened to just thinking for yourself, being an individual and saying, no, no, something no. that that doesn't look right. Well, or that well, doesn't sound right. Oh, let me see. Well, there there are a lot of people like that, but then a lot of people subscribe to groupthink. <laughs> but and yeah. but that's the problem because now you're putting. We all have to be followers before we're leaders. You have to follow somebody before you lead. Sure. But you you are responsible for the type of things that you follow. Like you're responsible for that. Like you can't follow and subscribe to bullshit and 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 dumb thinking. And then when you start to follow bullshit and dumb thinking, then say, oh, my bad. I didn't mean to. No, but that's what you were following. That's the type of shit you subscribe. You subscribe to these blogs that push bullshit agendas that want to just get clicks and, 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 and comments and shit like that just to push some bullshit narratives about real people. So mm-hmm. you can't like you following shit. And that's why I, I really didn't want to when they were killing me for that shit. I didn't really want to go in because I knew it was it was it wasn't true. And the people that know me. They didn't even understand. They was like, people just definitely don't know who you are. They would know that this is not, none of this shit is true. But I can't, you can't speak to that because even if you do, some people are still going to say, oh, he's he's just trying to cover up. He's he's full of shit. So it's like you get yeah. caught in a space where you're like, well, do I address it or do I not? Because it's like, I know this is bullshit. Well, that's why I see, but that beat my beef. My beef, and we're not going to spend a lot of time on this. It's, we 18 minutes in and it's mad shit to get to. But like, I be on feeling like, yo, they want me to not be black so bad. <laughs> It's like, deeper than they that. want me to not be black and they want me to hate black women so bad. <laughs> like I keep seeing that narrative attempt to get pushed on me and it just couldn't be further, further from the truth. Trust me, I know. That's one. Of two. two is like, fam, I'm probably one of the most unfiltered, blunt and frank people that we have in this media landscape. You don't what you don't have to do no digging to find out how Joe feel. <laughs> <laughs> At all. And god damn it, check this out. If you cancel Joe, news flash, god damn it. Guess who's waiting in the ranks? You fucking guessed it. Moak. <laughs> fucking Moak. <laughs> is waiting right there. I will no longer refer to murder mook as murder or mook or Harlem. Or Uptown, or Battle Rapper, or Goat. That all of that is is Mook's. The Mook is Mook's slave name. Mm. Okay. Mook's new uh, battle European battle rapper name <laughs> is Moak. You, it's you fu- know, it's Moak. <laughs> You're, you're okay, it's Mo, it's Moak. It can't. It can How can it be Mook? Right. How can it be Mook? Like that, Bron Bron. <laughs> <laughs> asking a nigga if he like that. Word, push. Don't ask. Hilarious. <laughs> Wait, what? Asking a nigga if he like that. I love hilarious. you, push, but don't ask me that. Like that, Bron Bron. And then give me a pet name. Like that, Bron Bron. First of all, <laughs> don't don't square my name. Yes. <laughs> yeah, don't square my name. Yeah. Don't JoJo or, me, Joey Joey, Mouse Mouse, Button Button. Yeah. There's no way for it to sound cool. No. <laughs> or yeah. cute. Name or anytime someone wasn't trying to play you when they doubled up your name. Roar Roar? Yeah. <laughs> Nobody was trying to, yo, Roar Roar. I was not cool yeah. if Damn. you hit me with Roar Roar. Um, a few of my friends tried to sneak the JoJo out there. And, and I, and they wasn't I don't, your friends. I don't stop. No. I don't resist. No. They weren't your friends. No. I, I I offer no resistance. I'm trash. Were you singing? No. Damn. Damn, man. When they call me that, I just feel like they're trying to summon my softer side. Because <laughs> <laughs> they know I could be a dick. So it's like, come on, JoJo. Yeah, they're trying to let you know it's safe like, here. It's all okay. Right, all right, man. That's comfortable. Right. Yeah. We're coming with our feelings. Yeah. Leading okay. with love, I believe. It's, it's yeah. a it's a uh, <laughs> ah, look at Rory. <laughs> I see you, man. Yeah. Therapy bag. Rory been yeah. reading. You've been reading, huh? Okay. 
Something, I read some headlines. I see you. Oh, don't be that guy. Don't be that guy. <laughs> um, uh, that, was, that was the callback. I'm so disappointed in Moak. I am, man. You canceled him? It's like all the great battles never happened. <laughs> they canceled all the battles? All they the gonna, bars? They gonna cancel yeah. us and be stuck with Moak and Biz. <laughs> <laughs> that is it. You Biz. Who? You. <laughs> <laughs> and Rory's the white I'm guy. that white guy that's sitting there like, Ugh. I'm definitely not Moak. Um, but let, let, enough of the inside jokes. What we're talking about is uh, the interview that set the internet ablaze over the weekend. Yo, L- Lux would have had a field day with his third round. Oh my God. Hey, Moo, you better be good and goddamn happy. Hey, Moak, if Lux would have got his hands on this bullshit interview, oh my God. Yeah. We thought Calico would <laughs> serve the nice saying. third. Oh no, Lux Lux is right. Right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's gonna get that to YouTube on the strength on yeah. the arm. <laughs> yeah. Yo, Yo, if I had a third round. Yeah. For sure. Yeah, yeah, damn, damn. He's gonna learn him. He's gonna give him some knowledge. Um Oh man. Every listen, I'm starting with this. And this is gonna sound strange. Everybody don't need a podcast, man. I know, I know. <laughs> I know. I've said it before. Shocker, Every, shocker. Everybody don't need a platform. Disappointed. I know. I know. Altered some plans. Everybody does not need a podcast. Especially Moak and the, the, the Pips. Can somebody tell me what the fuck they were talking about up there? You. <laughs> yeah. You in sweats. You trying to link and, and exchange sweats. He was trying to link and then exchange the sweats, or or, or change the sweats then link. He was trying to get a, the new outfit and for then, the link and then. Oh, okay, got you. You know how mad oh. I would be if someone called me about returning some sweats. I would have been pretty mad too. Uh, so, oh, so Ron, Ronnie. So basically, Ronnie don't fuck with you, <laughs> and Kith don't fuck with you. I don't wait. Which part of the story are we delving into right this second? Let's, let's get because some quick you out, and then we'll get to the, the nitty gritty. All right, y'all want some of me. All right, pause. I want to know why you were interrupting her date <laughs> for some sweatpants. Okay, I have told that story here before. Tell we, have new, we have new fans. Oh, well, fuck it. We got new and, fans. And <laughs> part two to that question, why did you try to pair that fit with the Miami LeBrons? Long story less long. <laughs> long story less long. Sitting in fucking Johnny's house. Mm-hmm. Sitting at sitting at Gunplay's house. Mm-hmm. Gunplay follows the Kith page. <laughs> they posted the little short sweatshirt setup. Gunplay got a static. Mm-hmm. They got him with the sold out line. Oh shit, sold out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Yo, they got they, get they, gunplay, they got Gunplay with the Gunplay is definitely the guy that enters all the raffles. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hey, I'm sitting there and, not and let's, giving let's, a f- let's be clear that we're not talking about Gunplay the rapper. No, no, no. no we're no, talking no, about no. our friend Johnny, okay. yeah. who's known as Gunplay for reasons we won't say because he's in a relationship right, right. now. But anyway, right. Gunplay been dead way before he got with her. Right. Yeah, he was fronting. Right. Gunplay was yeah, fronting. that gun jammed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mad times. <laughs> that clip was empty yeah, the whole time. <laughs> some of the tricks, all right. <laughs> Relax. That's our guy. Wait, we can well, make those jokes. Yeah, come on. It's a safe place for men. <laughs> but just relax. got off the phone with him five minutes I know. ago. And he ain't Caribbean. No. <laughs> no, we know. We know that. We know he's not Caribbean. Not at all. But yes, continue. Well, you, he saw the sweat sold out. Johnny saw the fucking, Johnny saw the sweat sold out. Got super hyped. Because he didn't have him. Because he didn't have him and it was sold out. Showed me the shit. His energy rubbed off on me. So I'm here like, you go. Here you go. And then he was like, Psh, I'm, a, said, I'm an influencer, Joe. Yeah. I could get those. No, nah, I wasn't even an influencer back then. That's the thing. Okay. <laughs> Am I influencer? Yeah, you tricked me. It's okay, man. Fucking tricked me. <laughs> We're influencing something. I've definitely seen you unpack some things on Instagram before. <laughs> And then at the brand. No, you didn't. Uh, I've no, you seen didn't. it. You've oh, never I, seen me do that. Hey, Parks. Seen it. Listen, Parks. I like my free shit. I'm gonna continue to do that shit. <laughs> but Parks has never <laughs> seen it. Yo, let me, me know. That, I'm, I'm no, a whore. I've seen it. What I'm a whore. I, I will. At, I will at your brand. <laughs> that was <Boots>. M. <laughs> oh, that was shit. M. Yeah, you did yeah. unpack some M's. Yeah, she's in Fight Club still right now. Yeah. <laughs> I need to go up there. Yeah, go get them. Give me my fucking M's. Your M's. No, oh, no, those are gone. I can promise you that. They didn't email me, and I, and I didn't get my whatever the split is. That's, they're like streaming up there. <laughs> <laughs> streaming sneaks. Yo, 
Whatever your, whatever your, your shady contract was. All right, good. All right, $1,000 what we're going to sell them for. I got $10 for you yeah. back in. I'm like, oh, we'll send you an email when it comes through. I'm like, all right, uh, guess. I guess. Yeah, I so. guess. I don't know what we're doing here, but okay. Um, what was we talking about before? Talk about your fit. You, Johnny oh, gassed you right, up. all right, so he gassed me up. Bong. Uh, I run right over to Kef. I go get a whole bunch of these bullshit-ass sweats to walk Brooklyn in. Take them home thinking they might be fresh to death. No, take them back to Johnny's. Mm-hmm. Thinking they might be fresh to death. I try them on. I feel like I look like shit. I say, Johnny, I feel like I look like shit. <laughs> it's a, it's a. Yeah. I mean, well, you posted the flick, though. Let's I, not leave out that's true. big things. I, I walked out of Johnny's house. I stood on the porch. I said, Johnny, take a pic so I can see if I look trash or not. He took the pic. I posted the pic. Everybody on the internet said, yo, dude, what the fuck is that? <laughs> I went back in the house, folded everything up. <laughs> Damn. You, oh, so you do care what people say. And, he reads the comments. <laughs> he checks the temperature. Yeah, he does. No, I do temp checks all the time. It's okay. It's, okay. it's kind of like asking your homeboy, yo, how I look. Let me keep it real. I look, I look, I look like trash. All right, then I'm taking this shit off. I folded the shit up. I went on some Dan Green tour, which was <laughs> me gone for fucking 45 days doing 75 shows. And when I got back, I grabbed. Oh, I, it. I know that tour. I, yeah, you know, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Parks was driving. <laughs> I know yeah. that tour. Yeah. <laughs> When I got 75 back, seventy-five shows in forty-five. Yeah, forty-five, days. forty-five days. <laughs> all in Ohio. Yeah, all, all in. <laughs> all, all in. All in. All in. in Ohio. Oh my god. <laughs> Yo, we had. A, nah, <laughs> One day we got to talk about that. Was the, so bad. We had an Ohio run. We did. We did. <laughs> PA, of, of the PA tour. In Ohio. And I'm not, I'm not shitting on Ohio. Ohio ends. Not at all. I'm shitting on. Uh, you're touring. <laughs> is, is there yeah, an Ohio yeah. Instagram page that will, that will grab that clip? There's a lot of Ohioans that fuck with us. So. Yeah, yeah, well, Side yeah, note. shit. They was coming to the shows. <laughs> they were. I'm rocking with y'all. I stand with y'all. Um, we have to have an all in conversation one day, but let's move on. The all in scam we got to talk about. Fam, mm. They still running the all in, in. for sure. All, all in. They trying to all in me now. No, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Um, all right. So I walk back and Johnny, I, I, I go on the tour. Go on the tour, come back, fold all that bullshit up in the bag. I go to Kiff. I walk in Kiff. It's about 8 o'clock at night. I'm standing there with all this shit. They just looking around like I'm invisible. They don't even see me. I'm just standing in the store with all this shit in my hand. <laughs> so after about 10 minutes, I stop some dude, Spanish dude. Yo, who can I talk to? Hey, hold up for i I'll be right there. Whatever. He just brush me the fuck off. Like, I wasn't even standing there with a bunch of clothes. Mm-hmm. So that's what angered me. Okay. That's what angered Naturally, me. Naturally, I can see that. So the only time I've ever met Ronnie Feig mm-hmm. is with guess who? You guessed it. Fucking uh, Bobby Sora face. Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. So what do I do? You fuck it. You fucking right. I walk outside and who do I call? You fucking right. Brent Barry face. Mm-hmm. I say, Brent, mm-hmm. now treat me right in here, and I'm about to kill one of these niggas. Mm-hmm. So you might want to call somebody. And that was the end. And they hit me back and said, but you wore the shit. And I'm like, that's weird. I'm about to take a picture. Okay, I understand. But whatever, I wasn't mad. So I still mm-hmm. got that bullshit somewhere. Mm-hmm. And I would do that tomorrow. <laughs> oh, right. I don't see why this person keeps saying that story like it's so embarrassing. I mean, I'm not embarrassed at all by that story. Well, uh, well, they, I think they laughed at the at the thought of returning some sweats that you took a picture of. Oh, then that person has never attempted to return anything to Neiman Marcus or Bed Bath and Beyond. I don't see a problem with that at all. I don't see it. I, I don't. don't see I don't see it. If you were, you could still as long <laughs> yeah. as it's not like some fucking stains. What on it, that tell me something is wrong when the fucking store is searching through your Instagram to see what you wore. <laughs> no, <laughs> you true. bitch ass nigga, take this fucking dog hoodie short set back. <laughs> So when I start killing the set, see, I don't tell this story because uh, Ronnie Feig hit me and I don't have any bad dealings with him. Mm -hmm. Like, I've never had any horrible exchanges with him. I've had an unpleasant time and kiffed that one time and with Brent Barry face Mm -hmm. on the phone telling me I wore some shit so I can't return it. But Ronnie Feig, he's done business with a a few people. So Mm -hmm. when he reached out and said, yo, chill out, don't know what happened, I'll get to the bottom of it, I'll send a care package or whatever, I left it alone so I don't talk about it no more. Mm -hmm. I just personally don't shop at Kiff Mm -hmm. because... I'm a customer service guy. Got you. Fair. Makes sense. Did you leave a bad Yelp mm-hmm. review? No. Okay. But you would. You're not that white yet. Hmm? You would, though. He's getting there. <laughs> I'm with two of them bum-ass sweatsuits. <laughs> well, hit them with both colorways. Okay. They calm me into the line. His they calm me into the... No, parts. 
Was it black and gray? They called me into the lime green one. Oh, oh shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Never go all a full lime. <laughs> colors, you know, were, colors were in. <laughs> yeah, you can't not full lime. lime like all the way, all you the way say, down. Uh, yeah. you know, Some it, accents of yeah, lime. Maybe, or maybe just the lime. top, but you no, can't do I'm the top and bottom. I'm telling you, when the spring come and the, the fashion bloggers try to tell you what's in, I think colors was in that day. That's what it was. Well, colors is still yeah. in, but not the full top. Yeah, but I don't know how to wear colors, so I stick to all black beige or something contrasting on me or all lime green <laughs> okay okay <laughs> contrasting i see where we're, 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 we've been reading me, we've been reading i get it wait i'm wrong for that no i'll be in the closet searching for the contrast too <laughs> so i'm gonna throw it off Ooh, like, <laughs> throw it Ooh, off piece. the green and pink yeah <laughs> chill don't offend the akas yeah please they listen they to us take this and they will What's i'm the telling AKAs? you wait what happened it's you okay. said you said, said pink, and green. Green, pink and green, pink and green. They go together. That's I, not a contrast. I'm just telling you from together. experience what will happen to you, my brother. Oh my fuck! It will happen. They will come for you. I'm just telling you what will yeah. happen. All right, listen. I'm not dying on the I hate Caribbean uh, hill, and I'm not dying on uh, the calf alpha. You're not gonna die in the pink and green. No. Hill? Yo, yeah. let me let they're, all they're the, powerful. Yo, let me let let me say this because, and this is not no cocky arrogant shit, but. I do notice that since this podcast is becoming popular, I see some of y'all that I won't say are trying to get us out of here, but y'all clap when the attempts are going down. Let me be the first to tell you. Seen some I, eye emojis. I know. Yeah. I've yeah, seen some eye emojis. Yeah. You're not really saying it, but you're but like, you, oh. You're monitoring the situation. <laughs> yeah. Let me be the first to tell y'all. I know the hills I'm going to die on. <laughs> it ain't the pink and green hill. <laughs> Yeah. It ain't we hate black women. These are not the hills. <laughs> nah, nah. It's ridiculous. Now I gotta think of some of the hills I might die on. <laughs> Let's not say them. <laughs> yeah, no. please. They're gonna start putting them hills everywhere. No, 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 I'm not. Back to what we're talking about. What are we talking about? We're talking about sweats. That's where we're at in the story. How do we get the sweats? Oh, we all for the sweats. Yeah. When are we gonna fucking get the Moak, god damn it? <laughs> I don't wanna yeah. hear about no fucking sweats. All right. Like that, Braun Braun. Which Madonna? Old school Madonna. Okay. Uh, shit. How do y'all feel about, about Moak? I got to get right into it. Moak, I'm calling you Moak. You will no, no longer be referred to as Mook. Boy, was I disappointed in you, man. What a golden opportunity to use your platform for just something other than an attempt to get hot. Actually, let me not start with Moak. Let me not start with Moak. Boy, I love when you can tell the truth about people. That is my favorite. That is my favorite part of the year. When some shit happened and you could be honest to someone. Gives gives you the, the uh, green light. Oh, oh, it's such a relief, Rory, to, to just to just to just finally get some steam off of your chest that you've been holding inside. Mm, I've yeah. been wanting to hey, uh, biz. 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 <laughs> I I'ma say some things, man. And no offense, I've been <laughs> offense, wanting, offense. I have been wanting to share this stuff with you. Ironically, I met Johnny Gunplay, aka through Biz. Mm. Listeners, a fact. you can't never get mad at shit like that. Sometimes some evil shit in your life is a conduit to a really, really good friend. And from Johnny, I met Rye Guy, who's a really, really good friend. So you can't be mad at that. But Biz, <laughs> okay, I'll. Let me ask you guys this question. How much did you expect from someone that wears open toe Timberlands? He does that? He cuts off the fronts of his Timberlands in the summertime and goes to events. How much did we expect from that gentleman? That's just what I have to ask. No, that's not real. That really happened? That was like his thing all last summer. He, wear, he would wear not only just Tim's, he'd have the 40 belows on with the toes cut off so you could see his toes. In he the cut summer, the toes off forty blows. Wear them, wear and he would wear them the out. Summer? I'm just asking, if, Tim, Tim what do we expect from that gentleman in this situation? That's I, I, w- w- I don't understand what that. What is that about? <laughs> and that's kind of my point when it comes to Biz. Biz, listen to this. You have been a goof for a long time. I'm talking at least at least six years now, maybe seven, but. Back then, you was masquerading amongst real niggas like uh, Bills and them, but that's when none of us on Twitter really knew each other. Mm. Then we all met. (laughs) (laughs) 
At least in New York we did. Mm. It's bad when Every, you meet people sometimes. Everybody in New York. No, no, no it is. It is. <laughs> That's not really Honestly. a joke. And biz, see, nobody probably told you this, but when niggas met you, niggas kind of thought you was a goof. Know why? You looked and sounded like a goof. You behaved like a goof. And then if we were wrong about you being a goof, a lot of your actions following soon to come all confirm that you are a goof. <laughs> mm. Like you started doing sketches. <laughs> You're from New York, you man. <laughs> Is it IG sketch? When on? New York niggas do sketches, mm. you started camp hopping. You were doing Without an invite You were doing Oh that's the worst You didn't get it They don't have your email They didn't email you It was you and homeboy I won't say his name But y'all was hopping around Looking for something to do Trying to be booked and busy I hate when niggas Try to be booked and busy <laughs> You have to just be it <laughs> mm. I mean you Gotta hit Brenner up <laughs> So Ben started Camp hopping around He started doing sketches he started just looking real funny, doing a whole bunch of attention fiend shit, which said to me, stay far away from this nigga. He is a goof. Smart. So open toe Tim's don't shock me. That's the least of what he's done. I don't need to explain everything that's he's done over the past however many years that has been looked insane to me. Biz, how could you sit there and allow that young white woman to say the things that she said and not take the time to call to call her on your platform over some of the egregious shit that she has said and done over the course of the years. Hmm. You allowed that that white girl, white girl, white girl, you fucking idiots don't even know who's white. <laughs> She's still getting off the uh I'm, I'm half Puerto Rican. Why the fuck? <laughs> Is Brent <laughs> Barry allowed to Brent Barry face allowed to still say that's not true? Do you remember when all the white boys used to say they were Puerto Rican? Eric Harrington. <laughs> Wait, he was white this whole time? I don't know. He's in jail, <laughs> He's in jail for a body, so keep going. Yeah. <laughs> y'all, y'all have that talk about yeah. that. Yeah, word. I'm not. I got nothing, though. Shout out to E. <laughs> yeah, word. <laughs> word. And all your ethnicities. <laughs> Biz allowed that white woman to sit there and personally attack. Someone that I know for certain has has helped him or attempted to help him throughout his process. When, find find himself when she certainly didn't need to. Didn't benefit her at all. And you don't even speak up when that white girl is attacking Karen. And that right there, I'm so glad that that happened because that's when it, see fans for a few weeks in this in this podcast we've been trying to figure out the definition of industry mm -hmm. and. We have yet to come up with it, but I ain't number one on the list of niggas here in the industry. I don't know who it is. But this helped me figure out what it is. When your moves and your feelings and your actions waver only mostly contingent on the ups and downs of someone's success or their or their path or their trajectory. Industry. Good, that is industry. It's a, a good definition. Fake yeah. okay. seasonal. Yeah. Yeah, um, I'm glad we got some context to this now. No, I was trying to find it all we No backbone. Well, I don't I, know if any of us are in the street under that definition. I, I was going to say off oh, that. Oh, yeah, no. Well, we're not. Yeah. We, be, we be being facetious. Yeah. Mm. We, be talk, we be talking about industry and behavior and just relating it to that. To going out with rappers. Yeah. I, don't think I, would, I don't think I would label that industry. I don't know if I'm going to give that. I think opportunist. But I think opportunists do just that. Yeah, but I, I wouldn't. You kind of live and die off what. But you could be an opportunist and not be a shitty person. Absolutely. That's true. Yeah, and there, for sure. Yes, yeah. yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Like I, I know agree. a lot of people that don't really have business being in the rooms that they're in, but they're just smart and maybe and are trying to get. Shit they're opportunists, moving. but it's not a bad way. Yeah, but you can be an opportunist with integrity. I yeah, feel exactly. like what what exactly. Biz did was opportunist because you were sitting next to someone that's popular, but you had no integrity because she was shitting on someone that's helped you out when she didn't need to. Mm. Like she did it because, yo, I'm gonna look out because right. she pays it forward. Right, right. That's nasty. Yeah. Save on going to cover. Get that. Go, get, go ahead, get, hey. get that nasty. He's from your county. Oh, uh, 
love saying. Hey, in <laughs> Long Island, <laughs> Long Island, we gotta have a talk with Long Island, man. Long, I fu- and I fuck with Long Island. Long man. Island, I fuck with y'all the long way, man. But come on. Why is Biz the mayor of Long Island? <laughs> Honestly, somebody, why is he the mayor of the county? Yeah, we're, Nassau we're, County. Now see, Nassau County's finest. He's not the finest. I know some niggas <laughs> from there. Some th- He's some not the finest that Long Nassau. Island For sure. has to offer. But, hey, but guess what? It's cool. Huh? The finest is the I'm engaged. <laughs> Rory's engaged. Parks is attempting to be engaged. I will engage. <laughs> <laughs> well played. Well played. All right. Well, yeah. You want to get the Mo- uh, Moak? Yeah, I think. Come on, let's get the Moak, man. Yeah, I, th- I think Biz. That's Biz gonna do what? Like, biz gonna Biz. Biz Biz, biz gonna Biz, biz gon man. Biz. That's that's what I've I've seen over the few Biz. Years. Let me tell you something. It's real unattractive when men move like the Instagram honeys. And what I mean is, whatever it is that you want to do and whatever it is that you're passionate about, do it. And then spend some time in it to give yourself a fair shot to see if it works or not. You shouldn't be changing, you shouldn't be click hopping and changing professions every other month and attempting to be friends with people that don't know you from a fucking can of paint so you can get hot and monetize something. It's the game, though. It's na- It's a nasty game. I agree completely. Biz, you yeah. are a nasty-ass nigga. You are a nasty fuck, and stay away from me. Well, that's the case, because I, I meet niggas, and I, I, don't, I, I see what it is, and I get out. <laughs> you won't ever see me again. Yeah, the same way. Biz, I mean, you know what I mean? You ain't seen each other in a long time. It's not a mistake. It's goofball shit, and I'm really psycho. So I have to stay away from goofballs. It's dangerous for me. Hmm. Moak, some of that shit you said, ew, ew, ew. I was very disappointed to know that Moak did not know the difference between ethnicity and nationality. Mm -hmm. How could that be possible? Why is Moak telling me that this white girl can say nigga? Yeah, I didn't understand that. Why is he telling he telling me that the white girls are Puerto Rican? He told the he told her she was a Puerto Rican. <laughs> oh no 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 no! You Puerto Rican? She's, like, she's trying to talk, but we'll move. No, he well, said no. He well, said she went further. Well, he said she was black. Well, no no no, I'm white. He said no no no, you black. You can say nigga. What you doing later? <laughs> he told her she was black. Yes. Listen, man, we in a weird era, man. I'm telling you. Niggas just sit down and say whatever they want. I'm telling you. And the world can hear it. One click of a button. But he's doubling down on this. He did. He's he's doubling down on this, Maul. Yeah, but you... No, you you don't. But listen, when (laughs) you say... And that's the era we in. Niggas just won't own up. Yo, I was wrong. I bugged out. Yo, my bad. That's what I was about to say. But Mook is trying to get hot out here. Well, like let's a, fucking yeah. call a spade well, before, a spade. Before we get into that, how do you apologize to that? You can, you have to double down after you did everything that Mook did on camera. Nah, I don't you, believe that. Nah, Sometimes you can apologize. Fam, thing is, how do you, you apologize? Public, you was I don't so that. actively That's, moving that like what right. do you apologize for? When you say certain certain things on a on a public, well everything is public now. But when you say certain things and it's out there in the world. You have to with so much conviction, right? You have to try and to continuing find a way the conversation nah. to make what you said valid. Nah, he could have like said he was trying to find a way to make what he said valid. Yeah, he could have said, "Listen, I'm a performer. I was yeah, on but, stage." Yeah, but no, but that, that's that's not what because it's like no. Is that an apology though? No. So then why apologize? But at least that makes don't more don't sense apologize than... unless you're gonna apologize. Yeah, but people don't make sense now. It's 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 no clicks in making sense. Yeah, people right. don't click on the shit that makes sense. You know what I'm saying? That's fair. So you got to say shit when you say something like that on a forum and it's out there now and people are like having a discussion. You have to try to make a valid point behind what you just said. Hmm. And, and that's and what I he think, got caught uh, up in. And I think back to Joe's point of people just not needing a, a podcast. Mook clearly had no idea of that girl's history. No. And Biz knew it and was just said like, "Oh yeah, nah, I went crazy that day on the timeline." Oh yeah, that was nuts. Relax. I don't believe people. Like you have to do some research if you're gonna have a guest on your podcast. <laughs> that would be the smart thing to do. Fam, check your man out. Listen to your man. You know, even the niggas, the, the shirt. 
I would be cool with you saying nigga. Because I got white friends. I got a bunch of white friends. People don't like that. People don't be like, yo, you know, I got white friends that I grew up, they, they don't even know they white. Like, they, no, I'm dead serious. Like, they grew no, up no. so much with us. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. they not white. Like, to, mm -hmm. like to niggas, they, they say nigga all day. Yo, what up, my nigga? Yo, what's good? What niggas is bugging? Like, and, and we don't have nothing to say about it. So, we're going to have to run the tape because that's a complete contradiction to what you said before. No. Mook. Mohawk. No. All you got to do when you want to check the temperament of what you're saying is look to your left to your white co-host and, and look at their face. <laughs> and, I mean, it's just... You look I, uncomfortable? I grew up with a bunch of white people and they 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 are adamant about never saying that word. Yeah. Mook is a liar. And we grew up in the Mo same hood. Moak is lying. Moak is from Harlem. Old Harlem. Not New Harlem. And that is not what was happening in Harlem. You are, I'm from Harlem. You are a liar. You are lying, Moak. Hmm. No, you were not in Harlem, and it was a, a cool, a regular occurrence for white people to run around saying nigga. You, what street was that? No. Lennox? No, no, no. That wasn't happening. That wasn't happening. So what the fuck is Moak talking about? I'm only not calling him because I'm I'm too responsible with my platform, and I never knew that he was that ignorant in, in his some of his beliefs. Mm. Did you? Because no, we know no, Moa. No, I didn't. I didn't know that. That was a different. I, that just that's, and that's, that's what I'm saying. That's, sometimes that's trying to get hot Moa. No, but it's, you know what it is. It's I think, later on he went and said, "No, nah, R nah, R Kelly ain't do nothing. I'm standing with him." In this same, in the same, in the same part, I have it. You want it? What's oh, up? nah, man. What, no, no, I must no. have missed that. Well, he I was on, the man. Clips. R. Kelly. Yes, I support. Uh, Who? I. What do you, excuse me. Wait. <laughs> wait, <laughs> wait, 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 that this was all planned from what back when he got off. What about being held as a prisoner? What about being told when you can eat? How do you have a phone and you a hostage? We couldn't, they said we couldn't go to the, we had to ask to go to the bathroom. Yeah, bitch, you, I don't know none of you niggas. A little girl. I'm gonna keep it a bean with y'all. This is a really bad Joe Budden impression. <laughs> and I've been seeing that, I've been seeing that a lot. I've been mm. monitoring. People are out there trying to be their best unfiltered selves, and it's just not natural. It's sounding really forced and bad, and y'all just spewing opinions that you but don't I, really I can't believe. believe. I can't That's believe. some disgusting I, shit. I can't believe I, Mook I don't, say that. I don't think Mook... I hope he was, Mook doesn't he, believe none of that. Was because fam. Mook comes off very was, intelligent when he raps. Was he drinking? Were they drinking? Fam, don't y'all make excuses for this. I'm, not, I'm trying to figure this. No, There's I, no way Mook is sitting there and say... That's he stands that was with past. R. Kelly. He that said that, and that was way in the past. He like, just said that. Like, come on, man. But yeah, but nah, I, I want to see the whole. So we don't get nothing out of context. I want to see the whole thing. I did. You, you can, you can, and I did, and it's there. That's crazy. Move. I just, I'm trying to figure out how, if you go through that whole Iron Solomon battle and all the points that Mook did a deep dive in, because that shit was five fucking rounds. There's <laughs> a, a great point, Rory. That's your, that's the shit right that he dug into on that Solomon shit, and he got killed for it because everyone said it was boring. But yeah. if you listen to what the fuck he was saying, He's kicking knowledge. That's not someone that's unintelligent. Yeah. That's an intelligent human being. And, but and then to why, come back on these thoughts is insane to me. And that's why I'm telling you, we got to start having conversations about some of the shit that people do out there when they're trying to get hot. Trying that's to get a, hot is dangerous. That's a nasty, nasty alley. Yeah. You know, I've joked about this before in this podcast when I said, uh, you know, the the J the J V the J V thoughts, like I feel for them because sometimes they try to jump to varsity too early. And when they're not ready for varsity, then it's like, God damn, you kinda fucked everything up. You gotta stick with this whole shit now. <laughs> like you don't have too many, too many other options here. <laughs> you gotta ride the wave. Same here, like trying to get hot is just you don't have to live like this, Moak. Like, we get it. But why? There's no, more, there's there's no, no more, reason for him to try to get. He's he's a known. He's known. He has a name. He, that people, that that don't pay the bills on the first. I mean, <laughs> shit. But you got to try something else, man. Trying to get hot off of shit like that, saying shit like that, that will kill you before it will help you. 
That w- this kid, but why, this, this but, does but, but more listen, damage but, but than why, it does good why, for him. But why Mook don't know how it comes off? And, and I'm, I'm trying not to stay mm. on this a lot, but I still didn't get to uh, Brent Barry face yet. Maybe, um, maybe him being new to this form of expressing himself is is different, and he may not, not he may not know how to. He's not new come to this though. Way. Yeah, because I mean, battle rap is not that far off from a podcast. Yeah, in a he's way, not. You know he's what I'm not saying? new like, to this. It is, mm, but it is. He's not new to this. He's not new. Mook, I'm not. No, he's not new to this. He's not. He didn't just start coming outside. Of course not. He's had conversations with people that are well versed, well educated from all walks of life. Mm. Like he knows a lot. So for him to sit there and so say these things to, to me, I, I guess I'm just it trying has to, to figure out else. these two different people that I'm looking at. Someone I've looked at for the past 10 years saying some of the most intelligent battle raps I've ever seen. Mm-hmm. And in a really clear way, that's what I want to get at. With like, Let's just use Lux as an example. Mm-hmm. That shit may go over your head because there's a lot of words and he says things that maybe only he understands. Mook is really good at getting a point across in very few words. Very few people are hard, are, he can makes, do that. He makes it audible. That's an art Yo, to be able to do that. This yeah. part don't need the deep dive. This part don't. We we understand it. We understand. So I'm trying to figure out seeing two completely different people. <laughs> well, that's why I keep trying to get you to stop escaping the point I'm trying to stay on, which is I can't think of another explanation outside of trying to get hot. Just get hot. So if you can, then I help just, me there. Don't speak to his, I'm trying his, to figure his out greatness that, and his ability. Why? We know him personally. That person with that intellect to want to just go with that let me get hot this way tactic. That's all. Hey, who is there, I'm not, I'm not who telling is you, I'm there for Mowak to battle? Surf. Mm. That would be a good one. That's that, one, that, that's that one would that would have been a good one last year. And that's one. I don't think any. That's that's. The, I don't think that's the card anybody is dying for right this second. No offense to either. Surf is my guy. Moak. I don't know what's up with him lately, but that what ain't goods. My point is okay. Let's leave surf and goods on the list. It ain't a long list. Mm-hmm. It ain't a long list. And that podcast went away. Yeah. So now you're back with a that, bang. That was I, know what it's I, like to try I, to, I know what it's like to try to come back with a bang. <laughs> well, yeah, you Wrong gotta, bang. You got to, yeah. <laughs> Wrong, horrible, horrible bang. And I'm just shocked that nobody there had the decency or had the decency to just call her to the carpet for some of the things that we've witnessed. Mm. It was the perfect chance to do it. Stop telling me about uh, how bad you feel about about shit. No, bitch. Your behavior, your consistent behavior over this amount of years says this is you. (laughs) And you don't feel bad. You don't feel bad and repeat behavior two months later. Sorry, that's not how feeling bad works. I have felt bad my whole life. (laughs) Mm -hmm. Don't go like that. (laughs) You'll feel different two months later. (laughs) No. That's not how that works. Hey, that's fucked up that I'm a veteran and, and feeling sad. <laughs> <laughs> Look sad at you now, fat. though, man. And then didn't get no credit for the sad bag that dudes is on. Nah, <laughs> you was killing him with the drugs and the sadness. And now look at the game. Mm. And I want to Now you happy and sober. <laughs> <laughs> stop, Roy, because you're the reason why uh, people be winning the Joe Budden podcast bingo game very early. Like some of them right now are saying Joe's going to talk about his career. <laughs> <laughs> Did not fall. Off. Last week, nigga hit bingo quick. Rory <laughs> said Jay Z and Drake first five minutes. <laughs> of course, <laughs> you already know that's look, coming. There you go again. Yeah. Look, ah! <laughs> there you go. Shut yo, up, man. Yo, speaking of Hove, <laughs> no, you know what's funny? Is we that, weren't speaking of Hove. There's no reason to speak about <laughs> Hove or Drake. No, Drake caught a bra. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, listen, man. I didn't. And is, know he he plan- is he planning this stuff? Is he putting somebody out there to toss the red? Bra no, Joe. To no. keep the sex symbol stuff alive. No, <laughs> it's alive. Oh, I would do it. <laughs> yeah, you would. You would definitely do that. Well, I didn't think of that during Rage. That's not. That's not the type of music that someone should be throwing that's a, a bra nasty to. bra that's Whoa. getting thrown on that stage. Whoa, what's up with y'all? Yeah, that's not fair. Some chicks be wearing nasty bras. I own nasty bra shame. Some chicks you <laughs> no, no, I'm lying. I do. Nah, some chicks hate bras. I do. Nah, some chicks hate bras, so they if don't even a nasty buy bras. Bra, but if you have a nasty bra, like no, I'm with, I'm with the women that don't. That don't like, what? Buy, like buying the bras. Be free. Well, they're free. <laughs> yeah, don't be you have free. to put a bra on. Have fun. I like the little stretchy uh, bra that the hospital give you when something is going on. <laughs> Just some pervert shit. <laughs> and let me just tell you, while while we're while we're on breasts, I knew Victoria's Secret was going out of business long ago. 
long ago. Are they? It's over? Victoria's Secret is going out of business. Yes. Oh, Mad at them shits is closed. They're bankrupt. They're going out of business. And all of the women, uh, all of the women of color are ecstatic about it. Mm. Like, we're very, they're very happy about that. Because, and I knew that because there was a part of my life where I was fucking with a, a voluptuous woman. Mm-hmm. And voluptuous woman could never buy a bra from Victoria's Secret. Mm-hmm. Ever. Like, they like never went past D mm-hmm. because their image was yeah, needed, the, the, the skinny, know, skinny know, girl, skinny white girl, titties. Yeah. 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 Nah, they, that, that's the bankrupt now. <laughs> <laughs> Got to know the market. Yeah. No, and the word. Got to know the market. Which brings us to Jules. Mm. Look how I did that. Mm. <laughs> Who set more screens than all? Nobody. <laughs> Shoot, nigga. I'm setting the screen, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, man, wide open. Man, Timmy. Right. He wide open, pump face. Right. Shoot, yeah. nigga. Which brings us to Jules. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nigga, shoot. Oh, that's your contribute, uh, contribution? I'm, I set the screen. The pick. Mm. It's very important. Uh, I call the screens. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> I'm great at call calling the screens. Screen. Screen. Screen left. Listen, I don't even. Throw them off. There's, <laughs> there's nothing to joke about here. Well, there's plenty to joke about here. Uh, I don't. I don't want us... The problem is these conversations are so multi-layered that sometimes the 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 broader point gets lost. Uh I was real disappointed that that the young lady didn't take this time to take this time to address some of the behavior in the past, i.e. the tweet about the t shirt when she was fucking the black dude, uh, but then she broke up with the black dude. Who makes clothes so then she tweeted a picture of the t-shirt that said hey can i wear this t-shirt which was probably meant to be a jab at the dude she broke up with but really insulted black woman black women and black people black women specifically but black people and then didn't seem to understand the outrage that was attached to it handled it very arrogantly uh then there were all of the tweets All of the tweets about black women hating you or despising you or not liking you because you take black dick. Okay. And then it's all of the circles that you frequent from our natural resource, from our our oil. It's the career that you pursue. It's the image that you portray all while continuing to degrade, disrespect, and disregard black women. And that's where the mishap is. Now, you can easily get confused in this because there are many conversations to be had. But with your history, young lady, You're not allowed to attack a Karen Civil, a Scotty Beam, a Joe Budden. You're not allowed allowed to attack a Scotty Beam who has dedicated her entire life to the betterment of black people, but black women specifically. You're not allowed to attack somebody that has that has made their made their way through the rigors of the entertainment business off merit fighting all of the things that come with being a woman and being a black woman in this this industry. You're just not the person allowed to do that. (laughs) Am I off so far? Nope. No. You're not allowed. You're not allowed to speak that way about a Karen civil who has built her empire and relationships from not the bottom, from the bottom of the bottom who also has to fight against some of the stigmas, some of the stereotypes that are attached to women trying to make their way in entertainment. Not just women, black women specifically. You don't get to speak down, look down, or think down on on nobody. I, I just, I just, I'm confused as to where that entitlement comes from. Actually, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. So, I mean, do, is that a, I don't know if that's a conversation that this particular podcast is should be the should be the conduit for. Yeah, no, it becomes a little chatty patty ish. Yeah. 
No, I'm not even saying that. I'm just talking. About, we're not the people to speak speak the woman's the woman plight. Yeah, no, no. Uh, I, don't, I don't. We don't. We we can't speak that. But I can certainly speak to appropriation, mm. uh, fronting, mm-hmm. <laughs> lying. Mm-hmm. Uh, so you're perceived a certain way. I could I could speak to. Uh, people that aren't of this culture maybe feeling like they can they can degrade some people who are because they have fucked some pretty powerful men. And I and when I say that, I'm not I'm not slut shaming, and I'm not escort shaming. Anybody that knows me knows I support that culture. Mm. I support people who support that culture. Ain't the first time some someone will will. We'll, we'll hustle that way. Certainly won't be the last. I'm not the monitor of anyone's vagina. I'm get your money. Get your money, sis. Do whatever you do whatever you have to do. It only becomes offensive when you when we look at it in totality. And and your sheer uh naivete, uh how you conveniently get amnesia and have zero idea as to why people feel the way that they feel about you. I'm lost. I'm lost. And maybe some of that shit would ride Brent Barry face. If your contributions were a bit greater, they are not. Can somebody tell me her contributions? She brought the vibes. That's what she did. She's uh, the curator of the vibes is her title. That was her thing. She didn't bring them. She just curated them. Yeah. yeah, there's a difference. She was a curator. Yeah, yeah. she, put the, the she put the vibes together. Right. Yeah. Listen, real niggas have seen that Madam game before. Did she invent the curator title? Can we talk about that? How come we can never talk about the Madam game? <laughs> I mean, you can't be mad at the Madams. I'm I'm not, but I mean, <laughs> can we acknowledge that that game it's exists? Like the, it's like oh, it, exists. it definitely exists. I, and, think, I think everybody knows that. And that's why I was that's why I was angry when uh when Jason Williams faced was saying was implying that <laughs> that I that was that might have been the best way. <laughs> well, I said it earlier. I didn't laugh, so I didn't know if it was. Yeah, I mean, it I didn't, must have forgot that one. It didn't hit. We thought it was the other Jason Williams from the Nets. <laughs> no, no, the Kings. Oh, okay. Yeah, no, the Blondie. Yeah, he was nice too. Doug Christie. He was nice. Yeah, yeah, you know, he was nice. Um, uh, yeah, that's why I got angry. I don't, I don't like when women imply that you slept with them and you were never trying to sleep with them. You never attempt, never shot the shot, <laughs> never said like, hey, never flirted, never nothing. <laughs> Like women, yeah. women shouldn't be able to get that off. Jewel, hey, Jason Williams said that's just not true. And the nerve of you to say that while I'm engaged is horrible. Anybody want your white ass? <laughs> and I get that. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying that to be offensive. What I'm saying is, I was there for the white ass phenomenon. Mm. <laughs> it was way before her. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I was there. I was there for the bisexual phenomenon. Mm. <laughs> it was way before her. Like. I was there when I was there when the bartender chicks that had ass went and got more ass. None of her games are a surprise to me. Mm. I've seen the fuck powerful dick game and I've seen it. I've seen it. I've seen it. Pause. I've seen it. I've been outside. <laughs> <laughs> Where's my gunshot? Come on, Corey. Man, Timmy did hit the gunshot over here. <laughs> you let the gun off. Pause. Yeah, come on, man. I'm not Moak. <laughs> I, what I'm saying is, and I'm not their man's that was sitting there going, uh, uh, "Who?" <laughs> I'm saying I've seen all these games before. I don't think that's fair, fam. Nobody ever tried to sleep with you. Nobody ever texted you nothing crazy. Nobody ever asked you out. I'm sorry that I interrupted your movie date. Uh, FYI, the movies is a really trash date. Uh, <laughs> FY, FYI, again, you're not a gangster. Well, hold can't. on, let's not date shame. He can't get the movies off. That's a horrible date. What if he went to Applebee's before and then well, they no, walked to the that's, movies? That's the no, one too. But, but wait, see, no, that's the 34th one yeah. too. No, no, you know that one. <laughs> oh, that's the one. That that the dinner Applebee's the movie. It's on right there. Forty second. Nah, right here on thirty fourth. When you're famous, could dodge a couple pics. Yo, chill, chill. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> doing that tonight. Chill with her. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and if you go after ten, half off apps. Come mm. on. You know all the shit, huh? I've been on 440 for a while. See, but that should let uh, that should let you know that you trash. He invited you to the movie. <laughs> <laughs> and what well, movie did y'all movie see? I both really want to see though. It's cool. But she's in there saying I was in the movie with dude. Joe kept 
blowing me up. So I had to get up, walk outside. I was like, bitch, you ain't no real nigga. <laughs> you would answer that. Would've man, been. Uh, listen, what was you? T- See, that tells me the game. That tells me the game. Joe would say, hello? <laughs> what's up? <laughs> hey, keep it down. Hey, shut up, nigga. Yeah, what happened? <laughs> Ma, what's up? That's what Joe would have did. Right. If you had to get up to leave the theater. <laughs> when it's a theater, Fam, yeah, it's different. That's you know she felt. was in a theater. Yeah, yeah. for sure. That's some, they have some shit you go to dinner in or some shit, one of them rich niggas. I pick theater? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she was at an I pick, leaving. Gotta be an I pick. Leaving for, for, for me to return sweats. You nasty. Yeah. <laughs> you nasty. It was, you should have never Damn. answered that but She call. said you was blowing up, so she thought it was a murder. He was trying to link the vibes, the return vibes. <laughs> mm. Well, she could have shot me a text and said, hey, I'm, I'm in, in, in nah, the movie. that's mo- true. I'm I, I thought about that when she said that. Like, uh, shot a text. Oh, I'm in the I mean, movie. What's up? Yeah, you ain't got to leave. Like, I ain't, I ain't, who you ain't, hey, hey, never leave the theater to talk to me. Mm-hmm. I don't never <laughs> want nothing. Especially about sweatpants. That bad that you got to yeah. get out <laughs> from the theater. But I'm not embarrassed by that story. Can I, can I say that again? I don't think it's anything no. to even be embarrassed But about. why do she keep saying it like I should be embarrassed by that story? I mean, it's a it's, funny it's, story. It's the whole, it's, it, but it's the whole, it's the whole That's stigma. Way funnier stories than that. It's the whole stigma. Yeah. Of you know being a rapper, being a, a, a entertainer, having money, and you know that Fair all that you, you shouldn't be returning I, anything. I have returned vacuums to Bed Bath and Beyond <laughs> with all of Brooklyn's hair still inside. Like yo, never even cut on. Well, <laughs> <laughs> hey, something with the power. Yeah. They ain't sitting there about to try to plug it in. Watch me on Instagram. I say, saw your vacuum. I was gonna say, did you, did you take a flick with the with the vacuum? Probably with the vacuum. Pro- mm. The vacuum. <laughs> No, okay. I probably didn't take a pick with the vacuum. Okay, but I mean, since we're spilling the beans, and since you snitched on me in my sweatpants, <laughs> it's only right. I mean, now again, I'm not monitoring what people do with themselves. I just often wonder why certain questions are never answered. I.e., who the fuck was Terrence J. in that car with during the crash? Nobody. Exactly. <laughs> Rory, that's probably why we never heard. Of course. They just assumed something. It was a shadow. It's tinted windows. Come on. And you know it, how people spread lies. And, yeah. and then he ran because he didn't even want to be caught by paparazzi with the tinted window of shadow. Of course. Yeah. No, nah, you're right. Yeah. Bad why why you got the low percentage tints? Yeah, bad example. Bad example by me. But all right, back to uh back to Shorty Duop. Back to Jason Williams, Casey Anthony Face, Brent Barry Face, Bob Sawyer Face, Steve Nash Face, Gordon Half, whatever you want to call it. I don't know. Uh where do we start? We never mentioned Dan Brazilian's name. Who? And let me just say there's some there's, the guns, right? there's some screenshot texts going around of some messy conversation with somebody DM me with a whole bunch of mess. I don't partake in a bunch of messy shit, so I was just like, oh word, I right, it's crazy. And then that was the end. But some people are thinking that I was the author of the other text and they're like, yo, you a little chatty patty fam. I don't care what people who people fuck. I don't. I didn't see any of that. I have by to the be way. very, yeah, very either. clear. Some of y'all kids today do a really poor job in not giving a fuck. I'm great at it. I don't care. I don't care what people fuck. That's their business. That's their shit. Whatever gets you off. You know what I mean? Bronx, listen, I don't know. Mm-hmm. And I'm not mad at the hustle of taking all of your famous friends' names, writing them on a the paper, and then getting some venture capitalist or some company to give you money to go throw a party so you can curate the vibes. It's like a fire. Yeah. She's doing a fire. And I'm not mad with you and a bunch of other girls running around the country just carpet munching. I'm not mad at any of it. Hmm. Sounds like a good time. I was going to say, I'm, that's probably the one I'm the least mad at. <laughs> yeah. My bad. It's fine. <laughs> know why you should never talk about me and my fiance, uh, Brent Barry face? Because no woman... I'm kind of familiar with what the women do that are pictured with damn Brazilian. <laughs> So what? what do they do, Joe? Not important. Okay. <laughs> but I am familiar with that crowd and what some of the women do that hang out with Dan Brazilian. Homegirl used to hang out with Dan Brazilian, got a whole bunch of money. Who knows who did what with it? But I'm t- we never hear it mentioned too much. But since you want to bring up sweatpants. You bring up Dan. I think that that's important to mention. We never really got clarity on what happened with her and, and, and Shake. Oh, uh... 
from Jersey. They, hey, shake, hey, shake fired home girl, and we have not seen a picture of her by the Def Jam building since. It's been no more uh, Lenny S pics. Hmm. It's been no more. It's been no more. It's just been no more of that. All of that, and that's why I was telling you earlier, Maul, a lot of this shit is just cap. It's optical illusions. It's just a front. Oh, It's that, a front for business. That's, re- the world, that's the world we live in. Yeah, but listen, man, just just hoe. Just hoe. <laughs> we don't need a front for hoeing. You don't need the Def Jam pick? I'm, I'm, Not, and you don't need to take a pick by, by Island Records. Yeah. Especially in this era. Like I guess in the back you gotta put the facade on back in the day. Nobody cares now, man. You probably get more respect if you just out here keep it a buck. I'm hoe. on record saying it a <laughs> million times. Just if you're gonna be a hoe, just be a hoe. And I'm not saying this about her because I don't know this. this man, lady. I'm saying it's about her. her. Hoe in peace. Hoe in, hey, just hoe in peace and shut the fuck up. Stop talking about people that have made their careers from the ground up not soliciting sex. Just stop it. There's nothing just wrong with hoeing in peace. When the fucking sex tape came out with some of the worst noises and moans we've ever heard in our fucking life. And I'm not shaming. You're moan shaming. No, no I'm not. Ugly, I was on record. Ugly noises are great. I was on record saying it was corny whoever leaked that. No, that's but super corny. Y'all know where corny. we stand. That's super corny. No, yeah. le- leaking shit is yeah, corny. That was corny. What's also corny is her running to Twitter saying, yo, I'm so glad that Kanye stood with me in this time of turmoil and gave me the words and encouragement that I needed in this dark and depressing time. I was really losing my way. It's not true. No, he didn't. It's a fucking lie. It's more cap. That's mm. what I'm saying to you, Maul. It's all cap. Why are you not running in the internet Telling about the other conversation that was had when your ass took to Twitter and started running Kanye's name through your fucking mouth. Check this out. Women that move like you, wives don't like it. <laughs> mm. Mm. Yeah. We ain't seen you at, hey, 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 I didn't see you at Push's wedding. I haven't seen you at 2 Chain's wedding. This picture is published all over the net. I was looking. I was looking. You're I seen looking, it. You're looking for I, I, I didn't see her. I didn't see her there. Hey, it's every Sunday, Sunday service coming. I don't, I don't see it. God damn it. Where the fuck is it? Why are you allowed to make a name off of another fucking genius? Stop it. Because you curate a vibe. <laughs> It's a lot of that going on, though. We know that. A lot of curation. I'm not mad at that, but you're certainly not going to think, speak down, think on, down yeah, yeah. look down, and speak and speak down on ours. Absolutely. Because you take black and because you take black, white, and all types of no. No. It's not okay. Nobody mentions David Beckham's name ever. Hmm. We talking soccer? He's a great looking guy. <laughs> oh, that's true. He was, he, he was your best dressed at the Oscars a couple years ago, if I recall correctly. Best dress a few other places. I don't know where we just went, but it's a weird space right now to land. It's okay. I'm just going to roll. I'm rolling with the team right now. I, yeah, I'm, it's, I wore sweats just to it's, let it's, Joe it's, know I'm standing it's by. It's not him. weird. Yeah. The, psych, the, the, the psychological correlation is when you take powerful dick. However that makes you feel, that that entitlement or that privilege that it provides, it's, false. it's like choose me, it's like pick me privilege. Yeah. Mm. That don't give you the right to speak to ours in a certain light. They shouldn't be connected. I agree. You could fuck whoever you fuck, get all the money that you get from it Absolutely. and do whatever you do. It's your hustle, baby. Get it, get it, get Absolutely. it, get it. I'm a, we gonna applaud. Absolutely. We gonna applaud. We certainly ain't shaming here. Mm. But that entitlement is gonna get you out, outcasted as it already has. Nigga say, hey fam, check this out. Hey, keep my husband's name the fuck out your mouth, you piece of shit bitch. And I never wanna see you say that shit again. Say it again and watch what happened. Wait, hey, guess what? Ain't seen it since. <laughs> Okay. I might not have seen her at an NBA game since that Pusher record came out. A few of us here, a few of us here are married or close to married.
Yeah, Wrong that's noise. That's great. That's oh, yeah, no, yeah, no, that's no, right. That's right. Yeah, yeah, we engaged, man. We ain't gay. Press that shit again, man. That's great engagement. Nah, we engaged, man. We're congrats, man. We ain't we Thanks, man. I'm yeah, we're doing it. I bring it up to say married niggas or niggas close to married or niggas that's in relationships ran like they married know how women feel about the harlots. Yeah, the harlots. The Jezebel. I love the harlots. Yeah. I love that name. That's a great name. Harlots, right? Yeah. Well, you yeah. Gotta so bring, it, it, gotta make, bring it makes back. it sound pretty. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful name. And sometimes it's pretty. It's very pretty. Um what I'm saying is I don't think I don't and I have no facts here. I have no facts. I don't think that that was the first wife to tell you about yourself. <laughs> I haven't seen you at a heat game since. You're from Florida. It was a hot ticket for a while. It's weird. <laughs> then you went down to Haiti. That was a whole big, a whole big thing. You went down to Haiti, took a picture with some under underprivileged kids who were going through some things. You went right to the gram Twitter with that one. Oh. <laughs> the Haitian community tore your ass up. <laughs> know how you responded? The same boy, you become the victim quickly. That's her style. Yeah, but it should stop now. It sh- it should it should stop. That that we should be able to see that in the daytime with a, without a flashlight. <laughs> no, no, because my issue here is she continues to play the victim with the same behavior all the time. Why is she still exist in the space? More, she, <laughs> so that's where I'm at with it. Like it's her style. Is Why is perpetrate it still? a fucking fraud you're taking pictures with kids trying to act like shit even in that interview she said i spend most of my time around haitians bitch where 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 come on man come on we are such a forgiving people we are enough such an accepting people nah 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 i'm not i'm not rolling then then, then the africa trip it was the africa trips with, with the west Yeah. <laughs> she went to Africa with, with the West. Okay. She went to West Africa? She wasn't. <laughs> that was a bad joke. I'm sorry. That was a me joke. Yeah, it was. Yeah, sorry. About 15% from the line. So. <laughs> was that with your free throws? Yeah, no, I'm getting my shit up. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, I'm a big fourth quarter. I'm a big fourth. Don't worry. <laughs> you think you're going to foul a lot? You're going to take it to the rack? Yeah, of course. <laughs> Rory don't stop taking it to the rack. I give it to him. Even after oh, a few yeah, corner no. ones, he's gonna go. Wait, that's these fans think that little percentage joke narrative that y'all have is gonna make me stop. That's just right, no, he just getting started. Fucking J.R. Smith, give me the ball. I'm drunk. No. <laughs> I'm shooting every chance I get. No, Rory and Ma. Did I hit the drops at all this podcast? No, I don't think you did. No, 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 Joe, no, 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 Joe, no, Rory and Ma. It's Parks. What's that? Uh, the, <laughs> welcome to the Joe Budden Podcast, <laughs> episode 229. If you're just now joining us, we are tearing Bobby Sore face a whole new asshole for her continuance and, and blatant disrespect toward uh, people of our culture and people who just have some type of merit and move with some type of moral compass and character. That's what we're doing right now. And we're not going to do this much longer because we're an hour and a half in this other shit I want to get to. I want to talk about this Jay Prince shit. Uh, where did I leave off with uh, Homegirl? Home home, did a whole pie and, and no, no jewels. I even have jewels in your name and not one jewel in the pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm serious. Yeah, I didn't hear a jewel. So, <clears throat> I... T- I just hope that this is the last time that we need to it's speak. It's not the last time. No, it can she be. She went to fucking Africa with the West, but it wasn't really with the West. It was with homeboy that she was fucking, and they fucking tried to run her out of fucking Africa, and then home, they tried to kidnap her, and then homeboy had to hire security in Africa, and then we never saw a location from Africa again. We never saw that again. I remember this stuff. You want to talk about some fucking sweatpants? I hate them sweatpants. <laughs> I stand with you. I hate them shits with a passion. I ain't never wear them shits around the star tenders. This can be the last time we talk about it. Just everyone stop inviting her to your podcast, to your events, to your employee fucking 1099s. It's mad easy. Just stop. She was in Africa repping for a whole day and a half. Couldn't stop taking a picture. Boy, that shit ceased quick. Oh, they was gonna tie her ass up, and that's not funny. That's not funny. Yeah, 
That's, that's that not funny. Been very serious. I do not condone that. Mm. I do not condone that. But that just speaks to something that we've been saying on this podcast a long time in this new internet era. Niggas don't really pay too mind to the future or the repercussions or to to actions bearing results. Like they, they just don't. You think yeah. just out here doing? And that's the problem. All right, fuck y'all. I know what time it is. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm with you. I'm with you. We're not I insiders. We don't know. Hate this. them fucking sweatpants. <laughs> no, I, I, can tell. I hate them shit. I can tell. With the fucking hoodie to match. You still mm-hmm. got them? You got the nerve somewhere. Somewhere it's mad shit in the depths of that house that I just don't know exists. <laughs> it's somewhere in there. I don't really have no more to say say about Homegirl. I was just really I, I want the message to be clear that this is not about you fucking men. Yeah, I don't this is not about, about yeah. this is not about you scamming. This is not about you losing relationships with with your artists or other artists that you be out here acting like you all good with. This is solely about our oil, your place, what you do with it, and how you think, look, and speak to people of this culture. You are ne- you you are to never look down. You looked you to look up giraffe necks long. Like you not even to be inserted in some of these conversations with some of the creative people that you so that you so frequently want to fucking speak about. It's nasty. It's disgusting. It is unattractive. Boy niggas love white ass. I would love to know what you and Moak did that night. I said, yo. <laughs> Moak. Yeah. You know Moak hit him with something like that. Pagola. So you want to hop out on my third third round? Like, <laughs> that, no, no, Listen, no. the type of tap dancing that he was doing, that type of, that type of yes masa shit that, that Moak was in there doing, I can no longer vouch for some of his beliefs. No, I can understand that. What, what do you want me to do? No, I can understand that. Definitely hey, some of that shit I saw. At Rolling Loud, when they was about to beat your fucking ass to a pulp and rest in peace, fucking XXX Extension had to loan you some security. Like, why we don't talk about that? You want to talk about some fucking sweatpants, bitch? Hmm. Don't mention me and my fiance anymore, please. I beg of you. Please don't mention, please don't mention Scotty Beam. Please don't mention Karen. It's hard enough for women in this industry without women like you who don't really support women of color in this industry. Period. Period. God damn it. Toss your ass up in the locker room. <laughs> I think we need some, some gap band. No, the fuck we don't. Why we need some gap band for a bitch, yeah, getting, saying. For a bitch getting tossed up in the locker room? <laughs> When your goal is to get tossed up in the locker room, bitch is a liar. Jesus. And say you ain't and say you ain't have surgery, got swear to God, I'll find that doctor. I'll find that doctor. Stop it. I know what you said to Savon. I'm trying to get me hype. <laughs> uh, Savon trying to keep his Miami card good. Look, 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 look. Like, yo, I'm going back. Duh. I need I need the vibes. Savon the duh. <laughs> hey, Savon ain't coming here dressed like a mannequin since he's been to Miami. Nah, that's what a little that's what a little cutty would do to you. you know that's, what that's, what little, that's what a little prime one twelve would get, do. Get, hey? a little, get a little cutty. Hey. <laughs> a little cutty. Get a little cutty. <laughs> a little trim. Get a little trim. You start walking trim. different. Yeah. <laughs> Funny shit is now you got the the, the gym teacher swag going. <laughs> That's on purpose, yeah. like the the Mr. Cooper shit. It's just comfort, <laughs> Mr. Cooper. That's all it is. You're not trying to do the Mr. Com- Cooper. Comfort is key. Comfort. Comfort is key. That's true. <laughs> comfort is when you're trying to go to the rubbing tug. <laughs> when you got your comfort outfit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you definitely want to be comfortable when you you're in the rubbing tug. You think Crafty was in there with the oh, sweats? Of course he was. Oh, New England Patriots down to the socks. <laughs> yes. Yeah. All the warm up gear. I yeah. stayed Patriots down to the socks. Yeah. He had it down. He to actually the might have taken it to the swishy pants. Mm, that's, that's even dis- different. That's disgusting. If you got on sweats, 
You put you the windbreakers after you get a massage. The windbreakers, swishy joints, <laughs> when you go to get the tug. <laughs> but you know, once you get a massage, some of the oil is still on you. So if you put windbreakers yeah. on, that shit sticks to you. Yeah. Like, so Crafty walked out of there looking well, like a old... I don't think he was freeballing. Oh, my God. <laughs> he was free balling. He's like, spilling lube on the windbreakers. That's not coming out. No. <laughs> lube is not coming off of you. That's true. Your balls be mad squishy for like four days. Now my dick mad soft right now. <laughs> <laughs> that lube don't come over nothing. At all. My, my shit is like silky. <laughs> <laughs> all right, man. All right. Man. Okay. All right. All right. I get, I get it. I'm silky. No, I get it. I understand. I understand. Oh, Thank you. Right. Sin is not here. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. The niggas hating on my silk, but drink silk milk. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, I can't even. What else is on the table? Niggas, no fuck yeah. that niggas <laughs> drink silk milk, be a silk city. <laughs> <laughs> silk sheet. Silk but niggas don't want to talk about yeah, you. That's crazy. I can't. Yeah, no, you're right. We don't. <laughs> niggas, no. No. You brought it up. All right, we're off of that. Uh, what was we talking about? Uh, off of that. Don't mention silk. silk no. I'm not. Don't want to talk well, about well, this. I'm not dying on that hill. I think we done with that topic. <laughs> You're not dying so we hit off that topic. Yeah, we done. Oh, no, with that, I was going. I was going gym teacher, and, and y'all just oh, left. No, we know what he's he's getting into his whole little trainer bag. You know, re-brand. you know when dudes need the rebrand, and he's got to be got to be shorty's trainer. He's 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 dressing comfortable to show that he's comfortable in himself. He's got that's, the big that's, rubber bands in his backpack. It's, it's, of course, <laughs> he no, he has the big ropes. You know the yeah, big ropes yeah, that chicks be doing. That's another one. Like they working at a dock. <laughs> they just be moving they now, the hoes ropes. love the rubber bands though like of around course. the legs of course <laughs> the rubber bands yeah, they're, they're not rubber ass. bands those bro. are rubber bands <laughs> they're not rubber bands <laughs> they are, they're made out of rubber <laughs> in their bands <laughs> you, ever see them, bands. you ever see them get their bag with the big tire <laughs> <laughs> the tire flip <laughs> <laughs> on that little mini football field in the gym like uh, why is <laughs> it grass the there <laughs> They put you, the stripes you on it that there. Nah, they be with my man. It was like a convicted <laughs> rapist. <laughs> like, all right, he training now. <laughs> all right, just flipping tires. Niggas go yeah. to jail, get muscle, come home, be trainers. Yeah, hell yeah. <laughs> hey, you know what that nigga did time for? <laughs> I don't, I don't no. think you want him training you. <laughs> now nah, she's trying to get toned up for the summer. Not, okay. That's what she's trying to do. for the summer, too. <laughs> Yo, uh, Savon, you, you better not be out here telling nobody that you are uh, offering training seminars. <laughs> <laughs> just in case what? But he in case you need to break out some yoga. Just in case you feel like, yeah. just wait, in case you feel like doing wait, a downward dog. Fitness. Like, <laughs> wait, you keep a yoga. Where do you keep a yoga mat? In your. Oh wait, shit! <laughs> wait, come, come to the microphone. Different type of nigga. <laughs> come up here, please. Different type of nigga. He keeps a yoga mat in his in book the back bag. Back. Never know when yoga yoga gonna pop off. Oh, the yoga mat with the lube, <laughs> the yoga Yo, mat lube combo in the book bag. No, that's crazy. <laughs> if you have a yoga mat and lube in your book bag, You're sick. I'm fighting you. That was bad position. <laughs> and Sinwood, Sinwood fight me as well. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I know what you're doing. We did that. <laughs> <laughs> We did, we did that. We did that move. I know. Are oh, you know. taking the yoga lube out the house? <laughs> I'm just saying, the podcast. Yeah, the podcast. Can't even get that Yo, podcast. We're covering yoga this week. You know what I mean? Come on. What up? Don't carry it off. Why are you carrying it Because there's mad positions you could do with the yoga mat. But like, don't, for yoga. Don't go need it. But you're alone. So why do you have that in your book bag? <laughs> like, just in case positions? Yeah, just in case. You never know when somebody might ask. Y'all thought I had the gym swag on. So other people might think that too. Say no. Nope. You pull out a fucking yoga mat out your book bag and it works with a chick. Yo, yoga on Don't ever call her again. No, no, nah, send it, send it through. <laughs> send that to the, send that to the group chat. Send it through. <laughs> oh, say you do yoga. <laughs> yeah, she oh, falling for that. Oh, you, oh god. You do portable, yes, portable yoga. Portable yoga. <laughs> You do portable yoga. Mobile <laughs> yoga is sick. Portable. I'm sure he has an app that you could just pull out. Wait, oh, yeah. wait. <laughs> the sure. sick shit is when he pull out the hot rocks afterward, too. <laughs> <laughs> wait, the hot rocks out the backpack? Yes. <laughs> hot. Heavy <laughs> ass backpack. Steaming. Like, oh, that. Yeah, I'm about to say, how big is this book bag? Bro? How big is this backpack? You got a duffel. Yeah, what well, you, know, you got in there? You know how Chief got the overnight bag in the trunk, so do Savon. Oh, okay. Newly out the relationship. You got the joint? Yeah. Okay. She'd be like, damn, I feel mad stressing my bag. Let me get to the car right quick. <laughs> Let me see what I got. <laughs> stay, stay, stay right there. I got my mat and my rocks. <laughs> pull a, see, pull a microwave out to heat up the oils. Fam, <laughs> fam. Yeah, you, a nigga pull a microwave out his book bag. <laughs> All right, dog. Where you live at? <laughs> now, now I need to know where you coming from. Not here. What y'all think is the bigger hustle right now? Um, the uh, The trainer hustle? Which I just seen a video of a dude training a chick in the gym, and that was nuts. I, I, it was it was nuts, and his nuts were on her. 
<laughs> it, was, it, was, it was. That one's kind of been going on for a minute though. Which is which is the yeah. older hustle that been going on since Mandisi's beat up homeboy in the gym. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> Man, these yeah. <laughs> photographers, you you told that photographers nigga, I'll put you and your muscles down. <laughs> the muscle bound niggas think, be thinking they can get it off. Man, man I don't give a fuck about At none all. of that shit. At all. Yeah. He put that nigga over the whole fucking treadmill <laughs> <laughs> while it was on. <laughs> muscle bound knew it was your treadmill. How your back is treadmill? Was, <laughs> shit was shredded. His back was shredded. <laughs> <laughs> nigga was on a grater, a cheese grater. <laughs> Wait, hell, get your back off of that. You're not supposed to be flat on a treadmill machine. <laughs> Mendes has got up and walked out. I was like, what the fuck? Yeah. I gotta never, let him know. I'd have never pictured this fight going like that. Mm. Hold up, man. Was this a case of Mendeecees having his cake and eating it too? He had his cake Because when he wasn't with yeah. Yandy, was he with Erica? Putting some nigga over the treadmill. Erica, <laughs> would he be back with Yandy? Because if both women carried to term, the pregnancies would have some overlap. What were we talking about just now? No, we got to get into Traders. We got to get into the, the training bag, the motivational bag, mm. and the mental health bag. Mm. That's the three hustles. What's the mental health, health bag? I might want off that ledge. What's that one? The new mental health that bag. In, that wasn't in pre-production. <laughs> <laughs> the mental health bag is up there with the motivation one. Uh, you're subscribing to something you don't typically believe in, but you see that it's hot, so you're just going with it because you know that's what everyone will get on. They retweet game. Uh, like you, can, it's, it's the same that? thing with the it's motivational like, tweets. It's like, like fake sleep. Hmm. Yeah, like you're not really. You're not, you're not really. Right, you're not well read in any of this. <laughs> like <laughs> you, you don't have a degree. You never studied this. You know nothing about it. You never went through any of this, but you like, yo, I see that you going through something right now. Mm. Yo, you may have depression. Mm. Anxiety. <laughs> like, come on, son. <laughs> They're think, selling that anxiety. I, I think that's my bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's definitely your bag. Yo, you know your dad? Yeah. <laughs> mm. How you no, mm, that's after Joe. that? That's Joe's bag. That's Joe's Small. bag. No, that's your bag. Don't do that. We know that's your that bag. That's not my bag. Oh my God. Do you know your dad is my <laughs> bag? No, you diagnose everybody. Well, it's important to know your dad. <laughs> <laughs> or the role. I agree. Or the role that is absent. No, but here, no, why, why is he absent? Yeah. Here's why I, I'll shoot Joe some bail here. Joe's, that's been his bag since fucking 1992. Agreed. I'm saying since the last three years, everyone's kind of really been getting into it especially these past two years mm. 2018 and 20 if you wanted a 2019 you just late now <laughs> with this bullshit yeah i agree and before people get sensitive i'm well aware that people Actually go through do. mental health right a right. majority of people it's a very big thing it's a serious yeah, but don't I take see, that one clip don't yeah, isolate they, that oh, one yeah, they, clip. they will they will they <laughs> have we having a big talk it's but I'm, I'm saying people Rory and parks got us holding on <laughs> <laughs> listen if y'all get out nah, of here pe people are noticing that people are being more vocal about their mental health, which is amazing, but that's what con artists do. They see when people are being vulnerable and more vocal about their shit. So, all right, let me get into this bag now. That's what y'all on? Mm -hmm. And it's something that you're extremely... Well, weak's yeah, not the listen, word. Just very vulnerable listen, about the shit. Y'all be careful out there, because a mental health nigga kill your ass. <laughs> so, I mean, that's a, that's a one playing around. I, right no, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not talking about the people that have mental... Oh, the pretenders. Got I'm got talking got 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 about got. the people that are taking advantage of them by trying to act like they're confiding, like, yo, no, I know how you feel. Here's, yo, give me a couple of dollars and I'll, uh, I'll help you out. I'll get you through. No, 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 I feel what you're saying. <laughs> <laughs> no, I feel you. I'm with you. <laughs> no, no, I feel you. I know you. Your Uber's take downstairs, them, take, though. Take, take, take them there. Your Uber's outside. Now you're giving though. it to him right but now. But no, it's the same. I think it's the same people that did um that little college run with the motivational speaker shit. Like, mm. come on, man. You in there for a couple? You in there for a couple dollars? You you Googled some quotes. Well, <laughs> like five, I'll, like I'll, I'm not rolling with y'all. I'll share a little Snapple fact. I love your Snapple facts, Joe. I recently learned what Gary V is charging for a meet and greet. <laughs> <laughs> you booked the ticket? Did I book the ticket? Yeah. No. No. Nah. That would be wealth. <laughs> it's hmm. That much? It's a lot more than ours. <laughs> <laughs> And I feel like, like at shows is what he's does he do shows? It's an extra digit or two. Damn. But I went on that ledge with a like, like between ten and twenty. Yeah. But is the, this like for uh, a with a church or... hustle too? So this isn't like a ledge I'm, I haven't been vocal about. The churches do it too. That's true. <laughs> slow, slow down. Don't talk over me. M said when you say a dope line, you have to leave a pause afterwards so the fans can know it. <laughs> no, he he breathed heavy. 
Stop. Oh, somebody's winning bingo. I'm not talking about Big Sean's podcast. <laughs> they getting that bingo shit off. Wait, what was I saying that was important just now that I cut Ga- Rory off? Gary V. Yeah, he's getting the bag apparently. 10 to 20K. But this is for like a one on one consultation, not like a, at a show. I don't care what you say. Are well, you I listening agree. to me? <laughs> 10 to 20K. What has he done? For a meet and greet. Now, I have never seen one picture of anyone at a meet and greet with Gary V. But I'm sure people are going. And every time and I, I, and I like Gary V. So let me let me start there. I like Gary V. But every time I see a clip of Gary V, to me, but I think I'm a genius. He used to be saying some regular shit. <laughs> I was just Yo, man, to say, man. when you get up and start your day, listen, eggs. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Eggs like, will make you feel better because, and if you don't have the eggs, you won't be ready to go to work and do the best of your ability. And if you don't, then of course you're gonna fail. But failing doesn't mean failing. <laughs> failing just means keeping, keeping on, keeping strong in your passion and continuing, and then you'll make it. Like me, yeah. <laughs> Gary V. Sounds yes. like the dude from Thank uh, you. Napoleon Dynamite, the the karate instructor. <laughs> <laughs> he getting that shit off though. <laughs> He got a nice off. I could get that off. I'm telling you, I could. I could. Get Gary V is getting it off. Who got it off before him? Who would I keep seeing? The shreds guy. <laughs> <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, the shreds guy. All I kept saying was, "Whoa, what a nice computer he has." <laughs> shit, shit was floating from the sky. Mm. Like, damn, man, I might believe the shreds guy. <laughs> Fancy ass Mac. <laughs> yeah. Got you. Shreds guy was mad motivational and had girls helping him out. That shit yeah. is crazy, man. I, I ain't dudes. mad though. Yeah, get hustle. Get your shit off. Yeah, I just you just like you really hustling people's emotions. I ain't gonna get into Joel Osteen. <laughs> oh god. That's <laughs> well, that right. used to be my man's too. But then Houston got all fucked up. He wouldn't open up the big yo, church. Yo, that showed everything. <laughs> yeah. When that yeah. flood happened, he's I, like, I don't know what yeah, episode it was when I talked about him yeah. and his hustle. Yeah, y'all getting out of my church. Yeah, no, y'all can't come here. <laughs> and when you can uh, all right, let him in four days later, bring him through the basement. <laughs> yeah. Let let him sleep in the water. <laughs> Give him a few blankets. No, the news went up there to to, to the glass doors. You can see the whole shit. Yo, it's crazy flooding in here. No, no, it's not. I, I can see the floor. <laughs> yeah, no, no. Everything <laughs> was glass. It was, it was so dry. dry. It's mad dry. It was, and it was warm. <laughs> yeah, no. And there was refuge. Yeah, but no, you still can't come in here. Fam, you have no socks on and shorts. <laughs> you chilling. <laughs> but you still can't come in here, though. Yeah, Joe, and that used to be my guy, too. I put him in a verse and everything. Damn. Mm, yeah, that's no. why I got to watch you put in a verse. That's you true. Do. That's, now, that's true. That's true. I could be a motivational scammer. <laughs> See, I was giving the motivation out on the strength. Like, like nah. yo, you could do it. <laughs> yeah, nah. That ain't enough no more. That ain't enough. He got charged. Yeah, man. It's fucked up. Gary V. All right, who wants to talk about Jay Prince? I'm scared. Yo, play it on Rock Him? <laughs> Especially because we just sold out our Houston show. <laughs> hey, Mike Check. Hey. Shout out to us for selling out our Houston show. And we plan on being there and executing so... Don't use that word. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> plan on respecting the city yeah. and giving back as much as we can. Yeah. Yo, I am so grateful so this... that, that Rory's hometown showed out for us, man. <laughs> That's they true. did, man. They, they supported. They, they did. pulled up. Yeah. Yo, go Rory. Listen, man. I told, and, I told you city to look out for me. Yeah. No, it's true. I ain't gonna lie. I'm surprised that Atlanta sold out already. I'm surprised at that. That might Why? be the, that might be the setup. That I was I was surprised. At that. <laughs> I was somebody good. bought two front rows. Yep. Somebody bought the first. Yeah, yeah. Somebody yep. bought the first. Two. Yeah, you know they just trying to kill me. Somebody bought the first two rows. Yeah, QC. That's crazy. QC definitely lined us. I don't, up. I don't know why you shocked about it. Atlanta. Yeah. Everybody from Atlanta. The way Chicago is acting right now is how Atlanta, Atlanta was. No, you're right. It's yeah. how Atlanta was acting right. forever, and we ain't been there in forever. Yeah, you're yeah. right. So, yeah, I, I could imagine. Shit, we that. barely did Atlanta on tours musically. Yeah. Very, very, yeah, very rarely. Yeah. So, so. There's, there's no Joe Button shows in Atlanta. No, I'm M- saying. Music? No. Yeah. I was just going to get it to the next topic. But <laughs> <laughs> you, you, I'm, no, I'm just saying. Yo, yo, I'm crying. Yo, 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 there, yo there's a reason snap. why. A no, that's, yo, that's, that's, re- not the, that's not the market. Like, we know that. <laughs> Talk about that later. Okay. Did somebody die? Odell went to the Browns. Oh, shit. <laughs> Stupid move. 
Stupid, Click the article. Who they, stupid, who they trade? Stupid move. Yo, the Browns are fucking what stacked. What do we get? What do we get? <laughs> Yo, they kind of nice. Huh? That's a stupid Yo, move. Uh, stacked. All right, while great, we're at, great well, move. how? Great move. Stacked. Great move. Y'all are gonna regret that. It's a the great Browns move. Browns are <laughs> for two years. I've been saying. No, the Browns trade. definitely aren't. But yo, the Browns are I fuck fucking with Baker, stacked. I fuck with Baker. Okay, well, while we're at breaking news, Eminem and WWE reach a deal for an appearance and a full soundtrack. Oh, let me hit the applause. An appearance at what, like WWE Monday Night Raw, or and, and a soundtrack? Yeah, I can see it. I can see it with a uh, chair. Yeah, that makes sense. It's a little chair. Eminem, Joe in the ring. <laughs> you sh- y'all should wrestle. No. So he gonna make like the ent- the entrance music for all the wrestlers? Like they come out to like one of his records? Seems to be the case. Uh, I said y'all want to talk about Jay Prince. These niggas brought up seven other times. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yep. <laughs> no, we, we 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 said thank you to Houston. Hey, they start telling me about some wrestling shit. <laughs> yeah, yeah said, Eminem said, said, soundtrack is coming. We said thank you to Houston. Thank you for the support. Absolutely. Great city. Looking forward to it. Great city. I know I was talking about the Jay Prince internet call out. Houston's one of the most important cities music. In the world. No, in the world. Yeah. I agree, actually. As a matter of fact, Rap a lot. One of the best labels of all time. Legends. Can I just say there is a way to respectfully just have this conversation? We're joking. (laughs) (laughs) Parks is not jumping. Parks wants to talk about WrestleMania (laughs) now. No, no, (laughs) no, I don't. (laughs) No, I'm joking. I want to talk about rap a lot. No, let's talk about it. Let's let let's 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 discuss it because just because it's a good topic. Uh Y B N Almighty J is his name, correct? Yeah. Young young people forgive me. I don't really I don't I try I, I, I try my I'm best yeah, to not keep up with whatever y'all are doing. Is there like more of the Y B N there's mad YBN. Yeah, I feel like I've seen YBNs. a lot of people with that. I and have, again, I'm not super in touch no with that idea. part of the genre, but none. I have no idea. I have seen that before, so I wasn't sure if that was a thing. I do, I do, I do like what um, I do like Jay Prince's stance on what he what he was trying to do, as far as being a, a elder statesman of the culture, and just coming out and saying something and seeing a problem mm-hmm. or something that could turn into a really a big problem, and trying to step in and intervene and and help out and you know and just have conversation and rectify a problem. I just don't think that it should have been done that way. On, online <laughs> Online yeah no. And that's where A lot of the conversation Is coming from Cause he can absolutely Get anyone's number Behind the scenes And have conversations yeah. So Yeah Yeah but <clears throat> But if So if he But I'm saying If he went about it that way Don't I give him The benefit of the doubt In saying Okay there's something else That he was trying to get across Since he didn't go about it Behind the scenes yeah, like if he felt like there was some some young cloud chasing kids that were attempting to uh, air quotes muddy the waters uh, and cause a divide and just cloud chase for no apparent reason. Mm. I guess maybe he intended to kind of send that send that alert through 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 the internet. Mm-hmm. Like I didn't take it as Jay Prince don't know how to move. <laughs> yeah. But who said that? A lot of people. A lot of a lot yeah. of the young people. A lot of the young people yeah. who maybe are not so aware of Jay Prince, or maybe don't know how well respected he is, not only in Houston but just period. Mm-hmm. They were saying, <clears throat> "No, nah, f- fuck that." Like, what are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, I don't. Uh, but you can't. You don't. They were saying, "Why are you? Why are you doing this on the internet?" I, that's what the conversation I kept seeing was. Hey, why is someone as prominent as Jay Prince and as feared and as well respected as Jay Prince doing this online? And I wasn't trying to answer that question because I'm pussy. But <laughs> and but also I'm still on benefit of the doubt. Mm-hmm. Like I don't take that as that as Jay Prince is not aware of or don't know how to move online or the times have changed or he's a dinosaur. I don't take it as none of that. It could have been a lot of things. He he probably tried to reach reach out to certain people and couldn't really maybe couldn't get it to I I don't see it. Once Jay Prince calls and it's a word to get back to you like your Jay Prince wants to talk to you. So I don't see that. Um this event took place online. So maybe he wanted to show that he was doing something to 
rectify the situation online. And maybe he needed to let it be known that he was <clears throat> invested in this why being Almighty J kid. Because again, I don't know much about the kid, I, I seen some so people, I didn't know that. I seen some people saying they felt like he was, uh, which was I didn't understand. They were saying, uh, "Isn't this snitching what he's doing?" And I didn't understand that when, when I seen some comments. It was like. Yo, but he's saying uh, somebody's name and saying they they did this and they're planning to do this. No, it's not snitching because there is zero cooperation on either side to the police. Mm. Uh, And I don't think he leaked that video. I think that video was... Mm. But I'm just I saying, think he probably you know, grabbed but people that from are somewhere. people are quick to throw that word out there. Yeah. Like, but I'm just saying, that. the cops came. Why Te- being well, terrible YBN word to just throw around? Like, nah, nah, everything's cool. Everything's mm-hmm. straight. That mm-hmm. is exactly what I would imagine you to say when you're backed by the people you're backed by. But I do. I again, I like the fact that again, an elder statesman stepped in to some younger situation and said, "Yo, we're not doing this. What we're trying to do in hip hop right now." Is we're it trying to that. change this look that we have and this and this reputation that we have of being this type of culture. More like I stated earlier, it's cap a lot of this shit mm-hmm. with homegirl, with dudes that's just trying to rob you and buck fifty your face and take your chain to make a name for their yeah. new crew. Like it's it's, it's, it's everybody feels like here. every again, man. It goes back to what I said. Everybody feels like they they have to perform. They're on stage. Soon as it's an argument and you look around over your shoulder and people got their phones out, you feel like it's time to perform. That's the world we live in. Because I'm not gonna get knocked out in the Bronx and niggas in London laughing at me about it. Mm-hmm. And that's how niggas is moving out here. Like I'm yeah. not getting knocked out for the world to laugh at me. Right. So I'm taking it to maximum violence. I'm gonna cut you. I'm going to stab you. I'm going to shoot you. I'm going to make sure I have the upper hand so that when the world sees this, I don't look like a clown or I don't look stupid or I don't look like a punk. And that's what it is. Like these, Everybody wants to perform. Everybody feels like the lights, cameras, in action, it's, it's time to go. And that's the, that's the bigger problem because people are living to live up to this facade on social media. And that's the that's the problem that nobody wants to talk about and address. And that's yeah. really what all this shit is about, is people wanting to perform. Y'all jumping some kid and recording it, that happens. I'm we grew up in the in, in, in the hood. You people get jumped. Shit happens. I'm whatever not, whatever not, the reason is. I'm not used to it happening for no reason. I and I, I again I don't know the situation. I don't know why it happened. Well no, it's it's a reason, it's what Maul is saying. To to get on the internet. And show that you have this certain type and you're of right. but wait, So he didn't have any problem I, with these you asking uh, us I don't know. We yeah. old and See, that's what I'm saying. I don't know. I don't even know where this came from. Now, if this is just some random I'm, shit, I'm taking that's Jay crazy. Prince at his word saying that he's he's done some research on the kids and this is what they on. Mm. That along with what it looked like in that video. We didn't see a video of how it started. All we know is we don't even know shit. We don't, we don't know shit. All we know is that uh, that kid ended up in the hospital with a buck fifty on his face. It looked like it re- required at least four hundred stitches. At least we saw a video of him getting kicked in the face. We know his chain got taken, his his money, his belongings got taken, and and now that the uh, culprits on the internet saying that, uh, that we're going to give the chain to Black China, she the insurance is in her name. We are going to give the chain back. So so this isn't a beef that was going on. I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know, but I, I certainly prayed for that kid when I saw him in the hospital that way because I just don't feel anybody deserves that. And that was one of the moments that I was extremely grateful to be 38 years old, washed in the house, <clears throat> corny, uh, you know, like. But again, I just feel bad because, I mean, you know, this era, I don't think that, you know, the, the younger generation, they don't understand the power that they have and the access that they have. You know what I'm saying? Like, literally, we're in an era where y'all can do anything. Like anything, just, and you can reach anybody. You can, you know, put your put your self out to the world at a, the click of a button. So it's like we y'all, we need to focus that energy into doing something positive or something that you know could could change your your life and, and help your family and help you get out of your situation that you may be in because you literally have the world in your hands now. Mm-hmm. Like literally have the world in your hands. You can put out your art and whatever it is you're trying to do at the click of a button, and people all across the world can see it. So we just gotta. I mean, people just gotta direct their energy into something, something positive, man. Like that's all this shit really comes mm-hmm. down to. Like, just do some positive shit, do some dope shit, some fly shit, and put it out to the world. And somebody gonna see you, and somebody gonna be like, "Yo, listen, I want to get down with that. How can I become a part of that movement? How can we do something together?" And that will change your entire world. And I think you know, what I mean, like people again, people don't know 
they're talented until somebody points that out to them. Like, yo, you got something. You need to direct your energy this way, though. You're directing yeah. it the wrong way. Yeah. And that's, you know, that's just a bigger problem. Like, we got to reach back and just, you know what I'm saying, like, talk to the younger generation. Like, yo, y'all, do this. Don't do that. We did that. What you know what I'm saying? Think, like, um, what did y'all think of my son and um, what was the other gentleman's name? Uh, Hocus, 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 Hocus Forty Fifth. Yeah. What did you What did you guys think of their their responses? I understood it. I understand. I understand yeah, where they're coming from. You know what I mean? I understand I where they're coming from. Um, again, I feel like a lot of this is conversation that should have been had in private, though. You know what I mean? Like, because mm-hmm. again, it could be taken the wrong way when it's put on public forum like this. Yeah. And it gets it gets lost and in, we in the context. And, and let me say, we don't know that it if wasn't they, had in absolutely, private. Absolutely, And then he took it upon himself to bring that to, to the, the public. To the, to the public, yeah. right? Uh, with the people that he was unified with, right? So right. We, we don't know, right? That is true. Because I was looking at the list of names, wondering how he came up with that particular group, right? Yeah. Outside of the Bronx, obviously the Bronx part connection, right. but just okay, why them? There's, there's some more people. Yeah. Mm. Like I don't know. Right. I don't know. And probably some people that are. Closer in the current moment to what's really going on in the Bronx, mm. rather than just the name. Yeah, but I guess the name draws the attention, and I'm not sure if that was his goal with that post would to be draw the attention. All right, well, I'm 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 going to continue to pray for uh homeboy because he looked fucked up. Yeah, for sure. Uh, he looked fucked up, and it's to my understanding a lot of kids really fuck with him. And he's a super talented kid with a bright future. Ahead now that, of him. that crew is dope. The crew is dope. Yeah, yeah. I, so. Let's let's just listen. Let's just pray for all of the youth, man. And you know, again, because when you you at a certain age, you're trying to find yourself and figure out what it is you want to do with your life. And I, we've all been there. We we come from the hood. We were we were that age before. We know how it is running around. But this era, man, you cannot let this era slip through your hands because you literally have access to the world. Like, you can do anything. So, like, don't let this era fly by and you look back when you 30, 40 years old like, damn, I missed that. Right. Like, take yeah. advantage of this shit now. It's funny you said that. I want, I want to read. Uh, I saw some tweets from Letty that they were so powerful and, and so on par with what we preach on this podcast that I just wanted to share them. And she starts by saying, I've done a lot in radio the past 10 years. Most of it goes uncredited to me or unowned by me. It belongs to the brands and companies I gave my all to. Can't be mad. It's the way of the game. And if we're being honest, one, we all have lost that. Intellectual property is real. And if you don't value yours or consider what you create an asset worth owning, it will be owned by who you work for because they see it. They They might not tell you, Shit, why would they? Instead, you're lucky if you get a check that can pay your rent. We think time's the biggest thing we get paid for. But your check is also what you agree that you work uh what you were agree- what but your check is also what you agree that your work, your thoughts, ideas, creations, energy is worth. That's what you're exchanging. The pay they pay you to own these works, ideas, etc. But when your time's up, what is yours? I can complain about the frustration, but that isn't progressive. Progress is what you do once you know what you're uh, once you know that you're giving up more than you've been led to believe. Don't be mad. Seek to own things, your things. That isn't something you can't do. She went on. She went on to say, in fact, you already own so much. You just give up ownership. Uh, you just give up ownership of most of it. Often unknowingly. Stupid is knowing and still giving that stuff up. Don't be stupid be an owner. I'm sharing that because I just thought it might be helpful to some people out there during your creative process. It couldn't be any more true. Between that, between what Russ said last week, right this second, if you don't have the information, it's because you're not trying to get it and you're maybe just getting all of your info from one minute clips or memeable shit or Instagram or IGTV or Facebook Live or other irreputable uh, publications. Today, in this day and age, there is zero excuse to be uninformed. Uh, so hopefully that ha- helps creators out there. Again, you are only as good as your business. Hmm. Oh, something, Maul, something Maul said led me to that. I don't want y'all to think I'm I'm on weird segue, man, today. No, 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 no. I, I, I get it. And again, man, I just 
the youth man in the hood, man, like, listen, this is the era. This is the era where we could do whatever the fuck we want. Like, we can be successful. We can have businesses. We can be entrepreneurs. Like, I was, you know, I remember when I was 17, I didn't know nobody my age that had a clothing line. Right. Or, like, that had a hat line that was making shit. Like, I, that wasn't something that you saw. This generation now, you can do all of that. You know what I'm saying? Like you can have you can have a business when you're 16, 17, younger yeah. than that, and profit a lot from and it just by putting it online because the world can buy it now. Yeah. And what she's saying is, because yes, you can do all of those things, <clears throat> but none of it matters if your desperation just leads you to sign somewhere yeah. where you own none of it. Right. Where you're not uh, a part of any of it. Mm. Where they can repurpose. Uh, your creation however they like for the rest of eternity mm -hmm. uh, that's more what I get from what you're saying and, and from my complex situation I totally understand listen and, and I get it part, a, a, a large part of our success I don't know whether y'all know it or not is is stubbornness <laughs> right is 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 because we our background is in music mm -hmm. all of us yeah mm -hmm. so we kind of built a little differently and it gives you this exterior and it gives you some things to say, man, fuck that. Nah. <laughs> yeah. All right. No. And, and then the no gives us some information and we go about some things differently. It's, it's some people out there that have amazing content, amazing concepts, uh, amazing ideas. And when you sign your name on the line, you're left with nothing and you won't know until six or seven years later. Uh, I, re mm -hmm. I, I repeat that story a lot here because the messaging wasn't there when I was coming up. So yeah, we, yeah. we try to just be consistent in that. And also be careful because they can sneak it in. You know what I'm saying? You might be signing some shit that you don't even know that you're signing to or they're taking your likeness. And, that you know was, and that's the important part to note, Parks. A good attorney, uh, a good attorney, the, 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 the industry starter kit, yeah. good attorney, good manager, please don't be afraid to ask your attorney questions. Yeah. Attorneys talk in attorney language. Yeah. And we we yeah. don't know what any of it means. Yeah. They're there yeah. to protect us. Feel free to ask your attorney what certain lines in that contract means mean because certain companies are putting the line in there to be blurry. For sure. Uh, no, that's the point of it. Yeah, to leave certain things up uh, for interpretation that they can argue later. Yeah. To when they have the leverage. Yeah, <laughs> no, I need all the <laughs> Pardon me. All the clarity in the world. Uh, I won't say what contract. When I was working on one, somebody tried to sneak something in there. Hey, we can fire you whenever you want. Huh? Right. Whenever we want. No, you can't. <laughs> what does that mean? Right. That means I just come to work one day and, and you don't like how some shit was operating and you just fire me? Yeah. Hell no. Right. Yeah. Puts ad language. Right. Yeah. Did I break the law? Did I, was it a hate crime? Like, right. did I offend some people? Like, what is it? You can't just say we could just uh, just get to do what the fuck we want. You just can't do it. And I would yeah. encourage uh, if you are younger and a creative and you are in school, take some type of business law classes, some type of law classes to get some basic knowledge of legalese and contract shit because the more you know, the more you can protect yourself. And if your parents are rich, uh, there's a little actress, uh, actor and actress scam going on where they're just paying some of the Ivy League colleges to let your dumb ass in. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> that's nothing new. Oh. I'm stupid. So they I'll letting everyone it. with money in Ivy League, but that's neither here nor there. Got it. Um, <laughs> the outside of the lawyer thing, I know, we I know, I know, we've talked about um, a lot of the lawyer shit in the past, and it's just been something that that I've just gotten into, and I'm late, even at 28 years old, to this party. I wish I would have done this when I was 20 years old. Got circumcised? <sighs> no, sure. I'm, I'm Irish Catholic. I've been circumcised. <laughs> that's weird that that's where you were going, though. <laughs> Yo, white dudes is not circumcised and it's super nasty. <laughs> that is super nasty, but whatever. Go ahead. Um, and pause. A, a <laughs> financial advisor or someone that is from the world of finance. I'm learning so much shit about running an LLC outside of my personal taxes, expenses, things you can write off, especially with creatives. All the things that you, you do every day and the supplies you buy and the travel you do and the people you meet with, like all of these things are a write-off and you don't have to have an LLC to do these things. Granted, I encourage everyone when they get a little bit of money or even save to and put you don't a, have to save all the receipts. <laughs> Just use a no, card. <laughs> no, that, that's what I'm getting at. It's not those days. All this old school shit. Fair, go log right into your <laughs> online banking. You could get all that shit off. I encourage you to get an LLC, but even if you don't and you're just an independent vendor, 
dog, you can write all that shit off. Because I know that struggle of not of going 1099s and not W-2s. You owe shit, especially around this time. Yeah. As much as that lawyer is important, mm -hmm. dog, you got to sit with somebody that, that fully understands. Because they're not going to teach you that shit in school. No. Uh. Sit with somebody, man. Every last thing that you do surrounding your career can be written off. And you can, and I hope the IRS does not look more into my shit because I'm saying this. <laughs> You cannot You're owe. definitely trying to get the Kiff <laughs> shit off your shit. Now I wore that to the live podcast. Okay, I'll put it this way. Yes, that's an expense. Mm. Yeah. We're doing this podcast. We have an image to uphold. Uh, that's exactly what the fuck so we're doing. you're trying to return some sweat. <laughs> <laughs> to the government, yes. <laughs> <laughs> to the government. The government sweats. Yeah, yeah hell yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, 50% well, yes, off uh, nah. my teeny shit. If I go have dinner with someone I'm trying to, like, Get in bed with, not in that actual sense. Yeah, no, I get it. 50, Rory killing this. That's how, you, shit. that's how you know Rory got an 800 credit score. You use vendor. No, no, I'm just, no, I'm just getting into that now because my, my credit isn't horrible. It's not as great as I want. And I'm learning from this person how fucked up my shit was from 18. Wait, like, your, your credit is not immaculate? No. Oh, no, there's trash. Yeah, no, White there's trash. Black King. <laughs> black, black King. You know, black King. Rory is a black king. Till he put that pumpkin spice Beijing shit on. <laughs> no, I'm gonna kill that. Yo, you sound why, like you hate it. Why are we on? I'm here. I've, I've, I've been Googling Amazon. What's up? <laughs> What's up with the pumpkin spice Beijing? Oh, when Amazon music comes. Oh. I think that exists. Oh. Shout out to Jeff. <laughs> um, this conversation is a good segue into uh, the Spotify. Uh, suing artists don't want to pay you whatever I read that all y'all in my mentions about saying how do you feel yeah how do you feel well parts T tell us D'Angelo now that you ask hey that's not Nova Ledge <laughs> <laughs> oh that's even sadder um I never addressed this because I figured everybody would know how I feel mm. like am I ever with the jerking of of writers no. or creators Am I am I ever with a creator getting less than what they should? No. Nah. But some of these some of these fights are a bit more complicated than my pay grade. Uh and I think this is one of them. Uh I when I read that, I was extremely great I was extremely grateful that today I could be an ally in that fight. Like okay. it's like when you walk in a room and and, and there's some beef there, but but you know the nigga in there, so it's like you can you can you can help out here. Like it's it's different. That's how I view this. Like I read the shit about Spotify, you you jerking writers or whatever. I was glad to actually be in the building, to be mm -hmm. able to have some of these conversations, to get a better understanding, to say, hey, why is this happening? Why are these reports coming out? What can we do to change this? What can we do to fix this? That type of shit. Uh, and that's all I'm really privy to say right now. But I think anybody who has followed me knows that I'm not sitting idly while writers are getting sued. Right. Yeah, that, that's just not happening. Is there anything that you got? React. React Parks. Uh, I don't have much of a reaction. I, the one reaction I've seen is that uh, people are saying, well, Apple Music isn't suing, so they're great. But no, Apple Music takes 30% of everything. Mm. So, of course they're not. <laughs> <laughs> On top of the split that they take from yeah. the streams. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, but yeah, that's Apple what I mean. Be raping. But that's what I mean by research is very important. Uh, you know, headlines don't tell the full story, and I don't want to say that and stand like I'm I'm caping for Spotify because that's not my goal here. Uh, if you're robbing artists, my stance is the same no matter what. If you are uh, lying on men, my stance is the same. I say that because we was talking about that uh, shit you was talking about mm -hmm. earlier. Like, like my that that's that's where I lie. Like yeah. my stance don't change on situations. Only only the people change. <laughs> I'm still furious to this day that the people that structured the original Apple contracts with iTunes didn't negotiate that better. The music industry saved fucking Apple, who is the biggest corporation in the world. And we pay thirty percent of our shit to fucking Apple. That's fucking crazy. <laughs> Welcome to the world. That's crazy. I mean, I think a lot of that went hand in hand though. What you mean? Music sales. Streaming helps save music sales for sure, but so this is like a, a, a it's a part. It's been a part. It's a partnership. So why am that's I giving thirty percent? That's why labels own. They have stock in all this streaming shit. Right. This, that sounds they, like it should be a yo, wash. They are best friends. Yeah. It sounds like you should be best friends, but it doesn't. Split. Where where doesn't that apple like where that apple thirty percent is made up somewhere with the labels, like 
to the the only person that's getting fucked out of it is the artist. Right. No, they're no. making up for it in some other way. You get that for thirty, sure. you get that other shit. The artists, like, sure. the artists are getting fucked now, today, yeah. and since the beginning of time. However, whenever the the labels and the tech companies are done fighting, I don't think the artists are going to get fucked at all. I just think that they have to get done with the fight. Like y'all said, they're besties, seemingly. It appears that way. But just like in any other game, well, Monopoly in particular, because you make deals with people, your besties while you try to figure out a way to fuck the person. Right. So that's what's going on, on between them. And once they figure it out, the artists will be well compensated. I, I don't. Mm. I don't think that people are going to figure it out, and all this money is going to uh, come available, and then artists are still going to get shit on. I do, I do not believe that. If it well, happens, you would have to show it to the me. The trend is going towards more uh, power to the artists. Yes, it is. Yeah. We'll see because they it's always a, seem to manage it's a to fight. fucking it's finagle a fight. that shit. It's so. a fight, and you some you start to see some some. Some shit swing towards the favor of the artist. But here check this out. Check this out, though. And it's going to sound this going to sound Republican-y, but it's not. I'm not fighting for all the artists. What do you mean? My fight is not for all the artists. Some artists have zero problem relinquishing rights. Some people have no problem playing the game. Some people have no problem with the current uh, funneling of money or the but, infrastructure. But, how I'm, I'm but not. I say, but I'm I, not fighting for them people. You, I'm not. No, but you have to, Joe. Because no, no, fuck. But, I no, don't. because listen, I'm gonna tell you why. Because sometimes those artists just don't know. They That's don't true, know what they're Maul, doing. I, I will say this. They don't know that they're relinquishing such, and it's like you still have to fight for the the, the artists that know and say, though, listen, we, we you're doing that. We, I know why you're doing that because I once did that. I didn't know. I, I'll say this. Let me fight this for you. I'm not no, mad at you. I can't blame me, you for that. And that fight is is way too big for you to start picking and choosing on certain artists. You either got to go with yeah, all you the go artists all. or none you have of them. to go all. That I fight told, is too big. Let me, let me reply yeah. to both of them. I totally disagree with that. I think this is to our earlier conversation about uh, about cancel culture and doing research and knowing knowing who people are. Listen, today ain't enough time to do a whole bunch of digging to see who knows what, who stands for what, and who's willing to do what. And that's why I said you can't think about that. And you that, just have to fight for the artists. You can't think about the ones that well, don't no, know. Well, no, no, no. Yes, Maul. Yes. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Mm -hmm. The fight is an all-inclusive fight for all artists. Right. I don't expect very many artists mm -hmm. to stand on that same ledge that I'm going to oh, stand on. Oh, to stand on the same ledge oh, we know that T.I. Oh, or oh, Chance yeah, 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 yeah. or just we some of the that. people. That even, we know. Even these, this shit I just read from Letty. Even the shit that Russ was saying two yeah. weeks ago. Like, And that's my point. Like, hey, you don't have to figure out if Joe hate black people. You don't have to figure out if Joe hate Caribbean people. Right. It's, it ain't hard to tell. Right. Now I said that. Here, it ain't hard to tell who's willing to stand for certain shit mm -hmm. and who's. Listen, you saw a two chains face when I said, "Uh, uh, hey, what about a rap strike?" Ta. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's some artists. Strike? No, we getting we getting money. I don't knock him. Mm -hmm. I don't knock him. Yeah. But when it's time to stand up for some shit, mm -hmm. he's not my first call. Right. right. Okay. There's also That's some all. artists that benefit from that major label system where you only get fifteen percent. Like it's not necessarily everybody that that is a shitty deal for. There's some people that don't necessarily have the tools or the desire to do the work to earn a bigger chunk. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? There's some people that, and this is a very simple way of saying it, there's some people that are label created. Absolutely. And in that case, how hard am I going to fight for you? But again, that's what I'm I saying. Agree. The fight, I agree with that. The fight just has to be for so, artists. Right. I agree. So then I'll ask, how, how does one go about doing that because i can see just fight because the fight is so big and it's up against something that's been in place for so long mm -hmm. how do you pick and choose like okay that's a, a plant that's built simply in that structure how do you do that how do you pick and choose which well, artists that, that you small. would fight like i think that goes small and and kind of it's a, a as most things are is right in the middle uh, you fight for all like artists, I get, and some people are gonna say, "I don't really care." Like about I that. get, for example, if, if, if Chains is cool with what he's going through, you still have to fight for all the artists to get that to change. Right. You can't just be like, "Yo, I'm with Tip, and we're gonna do it for our deals." But that's the point. No. But that's the point that I was saying them all. Uh, no, nah, I get that not being nah, your first you call. You don't necessarily have to fight for all of them because if that's their stance, I'm not knocking you. Mm -hmm. Like right. I'm not making you fight the good fight right i'm telling you how i'm giving it up in the foreseeable future right this I, I am not 
I am not uh, acceptable to the way that the funds are doled out. I am not acceptable to the rapper being at the bottom of the totem pole the same way I'm not acceptable to black men and gays and black women being at the bottom of the totem pole. I'm not with the bottom. And I don't, but I don't. Especially not in fucking music. But I don't believe that though. See, that's what I'm saying. You don't believe what? That we're at the bottom of the totem pole. Oh, then that. Oh, that's a fact. I think, that's not I, even I, me guessing. No, that's, I think I think the thing is we just don't know our power. We're saying the same thing. We're saying the same thing. What we're saying is every single individual act entity in this bit producer, whatever you are, you are your own brand. Mm-hmm. You are your own Fortune 500 company. Mm-hmm. You are your own business. Some of you don't know that about yourselves. Other people may know it bef- about you before you do. Mm-hmm. So I think I think that's what that's what you're saying. Mm-hmm. You're saying we have to know our worth right. as creators and brands and businesses Absolutely. and all and of that. Mm-hmm. And right. and and yeah. uh and what I'm saying is as a brand and as a business, as a boss, you're doling out all the money. You are the one responsible for every other department being paid. Every other resource that you need more than likely will be paid before you because you are the business. Mm. You are the brand. So for me, for instance, guess what? We've had that conversation here sometimes. Guess what? Ian going to get paid before me. Fucking uh, WME going to get paid before me. The lawyer going to get paid before me. The booking agent is going to get paid before me. The publicist is going to get paid before me. It's man niggas that's getting paid before Joe. Know what Joe is getting? What's left? <laughs> mm. And guess what? I'm a boss. I'm a boss. So that's how it's supposed to go. I don't know why everybody's running around talking about I'm a boss. No, you're not. It's not even fun. <laughs> There's mm. nothing fun about it. So, so that's that's what I was saying. Yes, we should all know our worth as a brand, but mm-hmm. we should also know we taking the last of it. We taking the last of it. So, it's to your benefit to fucking uh, do multiples. It's to your benefit to fucking inflate. The, it's to all of it is to your benefit, right? If you know your worth, yeah. And also, uh, sometimes I see people arguing about the finances of the music business and how underpaid the artists are, but that kind of goes back to being the boss. I don't know why so many people think that like 15 to 20% of the total product is a, such a shitty number. I'll tell you why they think it's a shitty number. They don't understand that so many people have to get paid out. I'm not never mad at 20%. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's that's not a terrible number. When you get to the tens, yes, that's terrible, but... There's a lot of people that go into making a project. You know, it's the same people that in the same breath say producers aren't respected, engineers aren't respected, managers aren't respected. Well, that they, they that's how that all works. You can't have both. Everyone needs to get paid fairly. I agree. I agree. That's, you know. So that means that the, the pie gets divvied up. Mm-hmm. When it gets, like I said, when it gets below 20 15%, that gets a little scary, but... We're off on a tangent, but that's fine. Super yeah. off. It's, it's fine. It's totally okay. <laughs> we're not that, that was a great. That was a great tangent. No, we're kind of cohesive today. Oh, okay. Better, better than the last few. Um, here's something that has nothing to do with anything that I normally would not report on this morning, uh, or maybe not this morning. Yesterday morning, Howard Stern announced he was uh, releasing a book. Really great cover for the book. It's his first book in 25 years. All of that is awesome. Super happy for him. He then followed that announcement with... He might have a podcast coming to promote his book. Oh, yeah. That's disgusting if Howard Stern starts a podcast. It'll probably be super successful. But Howard Stern has shitted on podcasts since the beginning of podcasts. Yeah. Which is funny because his show was a podcast. (laughs) It's a podcast. Well, I mean, listen, they shitted on hip hop when the culture first started. And now everything in the world is influenced by hip hop. I would love to ask Howard Stern why he was shitting on podcasts and now he has a podcast coming. They don't know at first. They don't understand It's kind of the same way. It's easy to shit on what you don't understand. It's it's the way radio shitted on MP3 and the internet. Like it's, It's the way that the label shitted on the blogs. Like right. it's you. You're so high up. You don't understand. You're it. too you high. It. Yeah, you don't. Yeah. Get you it. don't be in the mud with anyone. Yeah, you don't yeah, know yeah. what's actually happening with the people that really consume the product that you want because yeah. you've been making so much money for so long. Right. Which is such a fucking horrible way to be successful. Mm. Like you should never get to the top and realize. All right, I was on the new way. The way. All right, we're doing podcasting now. Mm-hmm. We're we're doing. All right, we're pretty successful at it. No, we're killing. 
we would be extremely we're some of the, we're some arrogant of the, no, to think else. with some of the best. <laughs> Thanks, man. All right, go ahead. Uh, we would be extremely arrogant to think if there's another way for us to do this in a different lane. If we'd be like, nah, we killing up here. Mm. I'm not paying attention to nobody below us mm. that may have a new way of doing things. Yeah, we know. What that's Mo- that's Mo- some arrogant shit. We know what Moak is doing. <laughs> no, that's still a weird podcast. We don't know what Moak is. <laughs> All thinking- that shit is weird. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying just a, just saying, a new way of, of thinking. When you get that successful for some weird reason, they stay so high and away from ground level on where things are actually produced that it's it's insane to me well that's why all the all the super successful people i know in this industry that's like a little older like they keep the young people around right uh they employ a lot of young people because yeah that's where the fresh ideas the nat- you know you know young people are are in tune with the world mm-hmm. they are and, and i put it in we've had very choice words myself included about leor cohen on this podcast the few times I've been around Lior, when I was working for Kev, he would ask every single person that was in their early 20s in that office. They could have been a janitor cleaning up. Mm. Tell me what's going on. What do you like? It's true. What's going on with your life? It's true. T- tell me what you're into. Where are you from? What do they like over there? Let me, let <laughs> like, me. that's... That's where he was always at. Well, you know, the, the, and again, I, that goes back to his intentions are not what I'm arguing about. I'm no, just no, saying no. that's how he used to saying. move. Like, because <laughs> as a as a smart businessman, yeah. that's how you do, you need to know what's going on. What are y'all liking? What are you into? What's coming? But again, that goes goes back to my point of saying people don't understand how much we dictate what, what goes on, and that's why I say we don't know our power. Yeah, because mm-hmm. brands directly look to us. To how how they're gonna market? What are they gonna sell? What are they gonna push? Because we dictate what's dope. We dictate what's fresh, what's fly. Like we dictate to the world. The hip hop culture dictates to the world what's fun, what's cool. Mm-hmm. So of course they have to look at us. They have to look to us to know what's coming, what's what's in the future, what's what's down the line. So that we, as soon as we recognize that, and we we come together as a collective and say, listen, we really run all of this shit. Let's stop fighting each other. Like, why are we fighting each other? Like, we let's come together. Let's dictate where this shit goes, where we want it to go. Or else, listen, we doing this shit on our own. We don't need nobody else. Right. Mm-hmm. But I understand that's way easier said than done. That's almost an impossible thing to happen to get everybody on one page. But we need to know our power. And we need to know that we dictate everything that's going on out here. Honestly, hip-hop culture dictates the world and how the yeah. world moves and how the world functions. We 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 elected the first bl- black president in this country. Yeah. <laughs> like, if that's not showing you, we can literally do anything when we come together. I, I don't I don't know what what else will. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's our oil, man. And, 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 and again, that 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 all t- that's a great point, more because that ties into exactly what Joe was saying with Howard shit. That mm-hmm. shit's gonna be mad successful. Oh, Howard Stern's podcast with the money he has behind him and the influence, mm-hmm. it's gonna do great. Absolutely. Fucking Howard Stern with a microphone he's, and a he's, bunch of money listen, behind him. It's le- gonna do great. Right. But that's my issue. He's a legend man. in media. Fuck, fuck all that legend <laughs> shit. That's my issue. With, fuck these legends. That is my fucking issue with these legends. Mm-hmm. Yes, you are a legend. Yes, what you have done has never been done before. However, you are on your way to retirement. Let's call a spade a spade. Mm-hmm. Howard Stern was on his way to retirement. Actually, that that's what a book signifies most of the time. <laughs> When you're, that, when, you're, when you're that age, when you haven't released one in 25 years, it means, hey, I'm out of here. Fuck these niggas. Here's my book. And this is so, so now, now, So now I'm, I'm assuming, because this is not fact-based, so now I'm looking at it like you're preparing for retirement, you've got a book coming, and now you've got a podcast coming because you think that's retirement move. No. 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 And that's subconsciously my Will Smith beef. Mm. No. You're a fucking legend. Go legend somewhere. <laughs> Don't come over here because now you see content taking off and now us niggas got to deal with legendary ass will and content world. Why? Because the movies ain't working? The fuck out of here. Hmm. That's a personal Joe thing. Mm-hmm. That is a personal Joe thing. But it should be because I'm a content creator. So it's my job to check the landscape and see what's going on. I don't think it's fair that some niggas that have nothing are going to be forced to have to pod against Howard Stern, who just rolled out of bed one day and said, you know what? I've been talking a lot of shit about podcasts. I think it's small and insignificant. However, 
Eh, somebody might change mine recently. But <laughs> but, but see, well, I have, no, that I was my. A, I have man, a different. Fuck all that. That was my shit with the stout time. thing. I, I was right. making a joke when Stout was doing his version of the pull up, but that was initially my point that we didn't really get into. I was like, all right, Steve Stout is now going to be a content creator and do the same interview thing that everyone else that that built this is going to do. But, but no, but here's but see, y'all missing it though. I don't I don't mind that. I'm not mad at Stout doing it. No, I, fuck that. I'm not mad at anybody doing it because I'm always going to be the one to say, the more try the it. No, tr- tr- listen. Everybody blast. can try. Every, he might be trash. try it, or he might be dope and bring something to the. At the end of the day. The cool and dope shit will always outlast everything else. That's a fact. Okay. You can that's, be a legend. No, that, you can be a legend like Howard Stern, legendary. Start your podcast, but if it's not dope, yeah, but it doesn't but, matter. Or he's, gonna, or he's gonna get down here and realize the money isn't the fucking. But also nine figures he's used to getting over there, and be like, oh, why am I doing this? Okay, but that two chains interview, for example. I really Grant, hate for that to keep being an example, but it's fine. <laughs> no, not yours. The stout. I'm going back to the stout shit. Got it. Got it. Got it. The people that are Still super example. guest based and great at being guest based just off your influence, relationships, and money, change is going to go to you before it may go to someone that's more important, honestly, right now to what's going on in the content game. That's nothing to take away from what Steve Stout has done but in then his, that's, his legacy. But Rory, I'm not tripping no, on that because scared, then that's, man. that's, 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 that's not scared at all. That's, that's just no, no, corny. No, no, to no, me. listen, listen. Cool. Let change run the Stout, yeah. right? But if you, if you're, if people, the people know that your shit is the dope, cool shit, they like, oh, you went over there. You were supposed to go do that. I totally, I totally agree with you. So I don't, I don't it, give a fuck. Let it's everybody just corny get a camera. Me. It's just Listen, all corny to let me. Let everybody get a camera and a mic and try this shit. I don't give a fuck. Yeah. I, I'm with you now that you I don't care. That, but yeah. Because it I'm don't matter when you're, when you, when it's you're dope and your shit is dope uh, yeah. and your shit is fly. Is, your shit is. This is old hat for producers. Yeah. And like it's that people going to, people going to still come to you, bro. They're going to still come here. It don't matter. Yeah. So try uh, listen. I'm Anybody all for, can get a Pro Tools. Does that mean you're gonna be dope? Listen, Howard Stern tried okay, some two years I, ago with radio. They I didn't see think that it would point, work, but I think my point him. is a bit different. When someone is leveraging their money and legacy to then hop into a game to take an opportunity away from someone that's better at it, like Pro Tools atten- ain't doing that. You ain't paying attention to the DJ culture for the past decade. I'm with the same shit. It's horrible. Every fucking Shaq Shaq has a residency in Las Vegas. But does that mean might be nice with the selection? He might be. I don't know. Hey, but he might not be, and that's why I'm cool with niggas trying shit. Yeah, go ahead. Try it. Yeah, try. You think hustle okay, is right, mad? All right, you know what? Then I guess my I guess my point is. You're trying it shouldn't be a multi-million dollar uh, residency in Las Vegas that was taken away from somebody and, that, and, that and, built and it. And again, let me let me just say, I'm with you. I'm not mad at him trying it. I'm not, I'm mad, not mad at him, him having it. a No, podcast. they could do it. It's just corny. Listen, That's that, all that, I'm saying, that, Liz. That, that it's type, corny. That type of name entering this space does nothing but help real niggas like me. I'm only mad at the way he has spoken about podcasting in the past. I'm not mad at that either. But it changed his mind. That's it. I'm not mad at that either because you know what that shows? When they come out and say I changed my mind. Don't come out and say I'm thinking about doing a fucking podcast. Joe, he don't even got to say that. He he (laughs) said it. He said it when he announced he was starting a podcast. Exactly. True. He said it. Exactly. We just got to, we know what that is. Like, oh, welcome to the party. No, I'm I'm with y'all and and, and my point was never to, I know the dope shit gonna stay there. Never mm-hmm. worried about when someone gets that type of shit. I just think it's corny. Like, when you come in this late okay. in to it's be like, it's definitely corny, but oh, alright, oh, this the wave? Nigga, go home. <laughs> <laughs> but what if it shit is dope? Go home. <laughs> well, then be dope. Yeah, exactly. From home. <laughs> <laughs> you can podcast cool, man. <laughs> Try it. Try it. I'm a hey. Have a blast. What's up? Y'all want to talk about Jose Canseco before we get out of here, man? <laughs> Jose Canseco hey. just snitching because he finished. Hey. <laughs> He's still snitching. Still. Jose ain't done. Ross called that nigga out years ago, and he, he acted like Ross never said that. All right, well, <laughs> all right, see, at least he's sticking to what he's made him, that made him he's who he is cons- today. I respect <laughs> consistency. He's being consistent. How he's being consistent. He's going to snitch on Bronx's finest. Mm. I mean, you know, he's snitching because he finished. <laughs> That's what it's all, that's what it all comes down. He saw that rock. Damn. Yeah, but that's why. But Jerry, yeah. him, don't be fooled by the rocks that I got. Mm. I'm just Jenny from the block. I'm just I'm just Jenny from, Jenny the, block. from the block. It's a fact. Mm. Used to have a little. Now I got a lot. Yeah, it's, mm-hmm. it's a big. Rock. Those were the bars. Let me tell y'all something. Jennifer Lopez has been pumping up that block. <laughs> <laughs> so that that is the block rollout. Remember, remember she told us she was on six train. She yeah. was. Yeah. 
She got she the pick. I saw the pick. I know, but it was the she album. It was the album cover. She looked great. It's okay. <laughs> Damn, knock it off. She looked great on. She that can't platform. be on the six. I've been on the six. She looked yeah. great on that platform. That's yeah. an iconic. I've never picture, seen actually. her on the six. Yeah, I've never seen her on the six. That's, like, the when six Hove, that's like when Hov and them took the train oh, to oh. Beyonce show one day with the security. What happened? Where they was going? Where y'all was going? Couple you, stops. You and Hov. <laughs> Couple stops from that. You know, Maul said that. Couple stops. You should get on the train. Show me still with the people. Nah, a couple stops. That's definitely a mall uh, IP. Beat traffic. God, that's the best way to beat traffic. Fuck it, let's take the train six stops. Word, that's going true. from where they was at on the end, that was like that was, three stops. Yeah, that wasn't, wasn't nothing. Jose was hating. Jose was hating. Big hating. That was hating. On, on, on Mr. Rodriguez. He's just snitching because he finished, man. Yeah. No, Ross he said it. Jose, cut yeah. that shit out, man. He ain't going to cut it out. He's going to snitch on somebody else next. <laughs> Can't wait for Aaron Judge to get a wifey. I'm going to tell you what he's doing. Or don't fam. <laughs> Yeah, like fam, fam. Don't don't snitch. So he's gonna have a follow up book? For sure. Oh, you kidding man. me? He saw the check he got. Oh god. <laughs> he can't wait. Go ahead. Y'all keep doing your thing. I'll be right here snitching. I'm telling everybody's business. <laughs> Young Jose. Let me hit the round of applause for chances. Uh, oh yeah. Wedding. Shout out, shout out to Chance. That was great, man. Congrats. Chance chance. Congrats. Independent chance. You think it's you think his wedding's independent? Why not? Come on. Don't even, don't even that didn't look like an Apple like wedding. Don't do that. You don't think he owned the venue that he no. that he did the wedding at? No, I think that was independent. <laughs> Actually, I'm not even making no wedding jokes. You ain't getting me in trouble with the people. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm no, but congratulations. I'm, happy, I'm happy for Chance, man. Congratulations for to that's, Chance. That's really dope. Extremely happy for him. Uh, super, super proud of him. Uh, came right back off his sabbatical, learning more about the, the Bible, and, and got married. Mm. Shout out to him, man. Yeah, it's great. For sure. Uh, what else happened? What else happened? Captain Marvel. Nobody saw it, right? Broke a whole bunch of records, but y'all fake, so y'all didn't see it? Yep. Uh, okay. Did you guys watch the, uh, you were talking about the serial movie? Oh, yeah. I, I know you guys, me and Parks are white, so we listen to serial podcasts and, and, and NPR anything. shit. Yeah. Like, that's our swag. Yeah. No, 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 no. If you got an ounce of Puerto Rican, then you're Puerto Rican. <laughs> Which makes you black. Y'all are black. Okay. See? <laughs> See, if Moak did it. That's true. That's the math. Wait, Moak. so Jules mm-hmm. went through that, so I don't have to? <laughs> Jules did that, so hopefully I don't want to go through that? Yeah, she was trying to tell. I'm not black, Mook. <laughs> I'm not Spanish. You can't say nigger. Just Mook, chill. You're going to get yourself jammed up. <laughs> like she was trying to tell him. He's like, no, no, fuck that. <laughs> God damn it, man. Uh, well, yeah, anyways, did you, do you guys know about the case, the Adenon, uh what's his... I can't pronounce Saeed. it. Saeed. Saeed, there you go. Um, on Serial, like 2014, which popped their whole podcasting off. It's about a guy that allegedly, well, I guess not allegedly, convicted of murdering his girlfriend. Um, they were seniors in high school. Serial brought up a whole bunch of holes in the case, a bunch of evidence that was nuts. This is now post the 2016 trial. He yeah. got a retrial, um, and it's a documentary now on HBO. Yeah. Oh, this is on HBO right now? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, get out of town. But yeah. the, the podcast shit was really Popped. big. Popped. Like 750 insane. million insane downloads or something crazy. Seven hundred and fifty million downloads. Yeah, it was yeah. Insane. The podcast. It was, it was like, ten episodes, but still. And they were like still an hour a shitload change, of yeah. fucking downloads. Yeah, it was a thing. She has two other seasons after now. Uh one about the army dude that got captured. Yeah, one was trash. I don't know. There might be a new one. Third one is 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 not great. I'm just gonna oh, keep okay. it a buck with you. Yeah. Um, but the first one, first one, check out this documentary. Well, whatever's on HBO right now is amazing. worth checking out. Yeah. Hell yeah. Okay, I will. I thank will. you, thank you for that, Rory. We're talking to the NPR. Were you audience. paid? Yeah. Were, you, were okay. you paid to talk about that? Like, damn, where's the NPR bag? Like Rory just starts on that. What was the, the case's name? <laughs> what was the like? You really got in depth. It was like the paragraph. When I've I been see inv- the movie. I've been invested since 2014. <laughs> yeah, same. Oh, this is like near and dear. Oh, that's yeah. your no. Shit. I was I well, was googling podcast, shit. It was like ten hours worth of podcast. Yeah, yeah like, I was googling shit on baltimorecounty.com. dot com. Like, yeah. all right, what's up, what's up with Adnan over here? Yeah, <laughs> over here. Shit got deep, man. <laughs> Rory was invested. Yeah, I like white, when Rory's invested in the things. whites. Got tied up by that thing. It was rough, man. Yeah. Y'all are nuts. <laughs> it was really rough. White people love NPR. Yeah, the it's wh- a special type of white person that loves the NPR. Yeah. And they all they all think he's innocent because that's how fake progressive the oh, white yeah. NPR crowd is. For sure, I'm sitting over here like, nah, he did that shit. I used to love, <laughs> I used to love the MPVs. Remember those? <laughs> Remember yeah. the MPVs? Yeah, yeah, it's like that's similar to NPR. Yeah, yeah. I used to love those. Yeah. Four wheel drive. <laughs> yeah, those are my shit. <laughs> You're just not cultured enough to know NPR. <laughs> <laughs> 
I tell you, every time Parks and Rory getting their white boy back together, like I just got to shut up for a little bit. <laughs> Let them have it. It's a fact. Let them have for hundred episodes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> this should, this would be a shit though. Time to get my juice back. Oh, uh, I feel you, Rakim. You got to let, the, get let, let your shit get load before up. you go back home sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> that's, not, that, that, that's not what he was that talking about. That is exactly about. what he said. No, what are you not. talking about? He just said, time to build my juice back. You've been there. Yeah. It's not the juice he was talking time about. Time to build my juice back up. That's, ah, that's what happened when my juice get built up. Suckers get smacked up. <laughs> it's time. <laughs> it's time. That's crazy. Shit getting flipped. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> Cause nah, your, girl, right. your girl see when ain't no more juice left hmm. She's monitoring the juice <laughs> if, if nobody knows that out there I don't know if this is offensive No they know <laughs> is, that that a, offensive? Is, that, is that offensive? No nah, it shouldn't offensive. be offensive No, well, yeah, That's man. a known thing That's Listen, true I, I don't know what We can't tell anymore got, Oh no they coming for you If you got too much juice in you You might go out in the streets angry And then you might be threatening to somebody I don't know what's going on Yeah uh, What else is extremely important to talk about Uh Russell Westbrook versus fan in Utah. Let me get straight to the point. Russell Westbrook is probably my favorite NBA player for every reason not related to NBA games. <laughs> it has nothing to do with his game, nothing to do with the averaging triple double stat stuff and whatever you want to call it. Y'all fashion I, I, I re- thank you. No, <laughs> I you get it. I could never be as cool as Russell Westbrook. <laughs> like, oh, all right, confession time. <laughs> I'm not, I can't be the only one that. You hit him to return some I, sweats too? I can't. <laughs> We need to bring the drum roll back. Mm. Uh, that's cool. I got the laugh. Hold on. I got you, Rory. Thanks, man. Got you right now, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Good fourth quarter, Rory. It's that time. Wait, wait, wait it's 230, 233 now. Well, yeah. that was him telling us he was taking it right to the rack, getting to the line. <laughs> that one, the sweatpants joke. I was I left, left-handed you're still layup. a little tense about it. I get it. Cool. <laughs> I'm not tense about it. Um, uh, Russell Westbrook is my favorite player for all the reasons uh, not related to basketball. Uh, oh, and confession time. Every time I see him on one of those little Nike windbreakers, I say, how does he get it off? <laughs> how does he do it? Why can't I get it off? Someday, bro. Then I see the other NBA players do the windbreaker shit. Then I seen uh, Nike start advertising the windbreaker shit. I'm like, fuck. I can't look cool in it. Get yeah. fit. Are y'all going to try it? Are y'all going to try it this summer? Because that shit do be looking cool when the cool dudes try it. I'm not wearing a windbreaker. Yeah. Mall I want to do the Sergio Tacchini joint it. stuff. Uh, uh, I want to bring Sergio Tacchini joints. Gotta, gotta add your drip. Yeah. Oh, I, need, oh. I need the old Sergio Tacchini joints. Where, where you going to find that? At Sergio. You going to hit Sergio? Yeah, at Sergio. Mm. At Sergio text text him right away? Yeah. Send that through. <laughs> Russell Westbrook <laughs> got into an altercation with a fan. Uh, at the jazz game, uh, the jazz guy, the, the fan did an interview saying he has no idea why Russell Westbrook wilded out. Russell Westbrook said that the fan, along with his wife, was uh, spewing very racial statements, racist statements from the stands, being, uh, what did he say, uh, get on your knees like you're used to or like you're used to. Either way, I understand the race racism in that. Mm. Yeah. Uh, I can understand why Russell Westbrook flipped out. He better be glad he didn't say it to Ron Artest. And listen, it's Utah, man. Uh, hate to be that guy, but... You know, you know something. You know something is up when the people on the jazz start saying, uh, "What Cephalosha said." I, I, I stand with uh, Russell. They be wild at the game sometimes. Like we know, yeah, what Donovan go- Mitchell came out and said something too. A few, oh, yeah. a few this people are saying, are saying something, man. And and I like I like that they're tackling this and and opening up the conversation to be had because come on, man, we don't have to be in Utah to know they be wild in Utah. It's called Utah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah black people in Utah. That's no, called Utah. <laughs> Worked on that joke for a week. You just stole it. Oh, you did? My <laughs> damn. Go ahead. No, you did it now. Flag. I, I had a better time. So I was leading up to it, too. You just threw it out like it was nothing. I thought it was funny. Oh. Like, I had a you. Oh. Yeah. No, no, no. I did. I did. Oh, no. I did. I did. And I get killed I for my shit. Oh, wait. I'm That's a nasty joke. No, no, no. 
not oh, Larry Murray. Oh, that's a nasty oh, joke. I'm not Larry Murray. No, yeah, but no. That's nice. Yeah, no, but no. Don't. Yeah. You think that's too? Yeah, we're not going to do that. And my free throws are that? Yeah. How did it more? You can't steal my joke in this show. I didn't know it was your joke, though. But you came up with it, too. I, I, he did a little cooler, though. I might have said a little cooler. He did it way cooler. Yeah, like. The you and the yellow with the tie. Like, you going too high with the voice. But he didn't let me, like, get into it. But I'm glad we didn't, though. Because that would have been a. saved you. That would have definitely been that one. I was hyped like a mist. Yeah, like a chisel. <laughs> yeah, like uh, yeah. I was hyped to pod with that no, one. Like, no, you took it. No, no, That's no, what no, that was no, the punchline yeah. of the whole pod. I was that trying was to find one up. for Florida. Yeah. Flo. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, no. It's okay. We got you. Thank no. you. No, thank you. Appreciate you. Though. No, <laughs> thanks no. for coming up, Kentucky. I was trying it. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm no, no, no. no. I couldn't come up. Wait, wait how far did you get into like, the Kentucky thank, one? I was like, thank God, I'm retired. <laughs> yeah, no. Niggas are tear me up, talking about <laughs> Kentucky. I can't. You can't going. go into a battle no. with Kentucky. No. I can't yeah. come up with nothing witty for Kentucky. No. No. Ken can't tuck nothing. No. Damn uh-huh. man, it's fucked up. Yo, while we're at it, because we're getting out of here soon, uh, yes, well, uh, Roots Picnic. I see it on Rory's uh, laptop, so I'll just say it. We are at the Roots Picnic. You will see us along with our girls. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Too close to home to, to get that one off. <laughs> yeah, it's in Philly, y'all. <laughs> what you want me to do? Shit, right down the turnpike. Did y'all girls start booking their tickets for tour yet? Chill. <laughs> my, my fiance said, hey. A little tired of finding out this picnic and all this other stuff on mm. on the internet. So then uh, she called Ian Keeb and said, "Hey, send me all of his dates and let's just start <laughs> acting like this is a real family." Mm. And yeah, that's kind of like, wild when you share a manager. <laughs> then I like, was like, "You can't really get that off." I was like. Yeah, yeah, Ian, <laughs> send her all the days. <laughs> That'll solve it. <laughs> family, <sighs> regular old family guy. No, but I know. But what I've learned is what I've learned over the weekend is that the girlfriends have been, the fiancés have been communicating mm. like, significantly. Sin been talking to Sam. Mm. Sam been talking to Sin. It's gonna be a fun tour. They're not gonna tell us the cities that are being coordinated no. they, uh, right now. I don't know if you know, they're having uh, lunch. I think on next Tuesday. Mm. On a pod day. Yeah, smart. I hate when the girls get together to have lunch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we're fucked, man. <laughs> this is gonna be a very, you know, it's gonna be very interesting for me to sit back and watch all of this unfold. Watch how sick I get in Miami. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you tell I'm a G You got a cold oh, oh, No 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 There gotta be some contagion Oh I got pink eye oh, Why are you holding your stomach Lord. For pink eye Wait and don't go my, with the my, pink eye bag you got, pink, my stomach. you got a pink stomach Don't die on the pink eye hill <laughs> I got pink stomach You got pink stomach Yeah it's gonna get <laughs> contagious <laughs> You gotta get out of Miami You can't go to Miami That's got shit going crazy out here <laughs> So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what y'all got planned. I'm conjuring. I'm conjuring up all the lines. Oh man, <laughs> what's up? Uh, I want to go on vacation. You and all your girlfriends, all paid. Yeah. <laughs> all paid. All, That's all, the all in for, all, the, for boyfriends. Hey, all in, all inclusive. Bahamas. Oh my God. <laughs> all inclusive. Whatever. Bahamas. Just whatever go. No, just go. Resort you want. Uh, yeah, just go. Uh, 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 how that vineyard looking? <laughs> uh, <laughs> listen, Sam and her <laughs> friends don't want to go to the vineyard. I, I don't know. <laughs> No. I don't know. I slam, I slam the tickets down like the big joker. Yeah. Send and Sam might take a little skedaddle. <laughs> Send them to the vineyard. It's fucked up that you wanted to make your fiance skedaddle, but she know the game. <laughs> <laughs> she know the vibes. Oh, man. Then they hit you the line. Well, I'm not trying to babysit you. I just want to spend time. I know. I but, know. I mean, we're, t- we're taking them to a picnic, though. <laughs> spend time. While we live together. <laughs> oh, I know. Ch- Ch- <laughs> I know we spend time hey, and, and we live together. We live together. Look at I know. Rory. <laughs> I know. I know. We, ah, you you want to spend we, time? We, 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 in a, we in the house no, that's every y'all. night. I that's know. y'all. That's a ledge. That's, that's y'all. That's y'all. You want to spend time? Spend. Time. I'm trying to go to the picnic. Spend. We spend every day together. <laughs> yeah, but then you spend all the time because because in our brain that's what we thinking. Like, fam, I be home and we live together. But then that's when they pull out. I just want to spend some time with you and not home. Oh, they, like, yeah, they, they throw that in there it. They, outside of the house. Yeah, they, they 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 put all types of reverb on that one. That's crazy. <laughs> I want to spend time they with you outside the house. This is what I got to well, look why forward you didn't to. Say that before you moved in. <laughs> <laughs> why wasn't that a discussion you before you decided? Hey, you <laughs> Just making sure no, that this is. <laughs> I'm over here. No, I'm on this I'm side cool. of the couch. No, why? But no. why they don't ever tell us they want to spend time with us outside the house before they move in? 
Honestly, because it changed. Because we could accommodate that Listen, shit. We, what? <laughs> women the move, yacht, La Marina. Women move the, women move <laughs> the goalposts like, more than anybody, man. You know that. Mo, now I understand when you had to be quiet through other topics. Mm. I had to. I feel you. <laughs> I hate Caribbean people and I'm up to the house of Caribbean. They said I hated dogs. If they would have seen some of my pictures on Eastern Parkway in my bandana. I I'm, only didn't post it because I'm I sure like Fitz a fool. will find it. He's gonna he's gonna <laughs> find it. He's gonna post it. Somehow he found my shoebox with all my secret pictures in my basement. <laughs> and it's going up. I feel so bad when he put up that video of me balling with the kids. <laughs> that drop step was hilarious. The kids gotta get it sometime. You right. <laughs> Set the tone. Exactly. And Teach them failure early. Don't talk about drop step. It went in. Niggas was clowning me because I drop step and didn't use the backboard. That was nasty. <laughs> <laughs> No, the Put nasty part of it. All right, my bad. Don't add on to it. My bad. It was more nastiness. It's just that you a guard. Why are you drop stepping? I'm not a guard. Against, against Anywhere, people that oh, are three oh, foot tall. No. Guard. Against them, no. Against, against, against that them. competition, no. He's short you're kids, fucking, no. You're not you're a guard. Shaq. Yeah, you're Shaq against them. You, you're, so you're right. So the drop step made sense right there. You're right. My, my bad. I didn't think about it like that. Um, okay. He's playing playing to his opponents. It makes, do, I, I, do, I I have, do I have a guard game, Maul? That's what, that's what I'm saying. All right. Now, fuck you. I got it. I got the truth. What? Right. <laughs> you got the Charles Oakley game, bro. Because I'm, I don't want niggas to. I don't. I don't feel like people should talk bad about me and my basketball game and all of this bullshit that I can beat one on one. Are you calling someone <laughs> to verify your basketball skills? I'm, I'm, just listen, man. Come on, call. Me. Yo, I'm nice, right? <laughs> <laughs> Who we talked to in pre-pro? Yo, I'm gonna call you at this time. This is not a part of pre-production. This will end up being our longest podcast ever by mistake. <laughs> of course, Buck don't answer when I need him. Because I'm tired of Maul. Who, First of all, who, Buck could actually play ball. But that's why I was calling him. So I'm tired of Maul, who does know a little bit about, about my game. He gets on his fucking podcast and acts like I'm the I worst basketball player in the world. I was just laughing at that clip. Oh, I can't laugh at the clip? Um, yeah, Buck ain't answering Jeez. now, of course. Tuh. Buck is giving back to the community, man. Fucking Buck. <laughs> I'm going to get Buck on this podcast, and we're going to answer to some of, that, <laughs> some, of that, some of that bullshit. All right, John Mayer, Rory, take John it home. <laughs> <laughs> so apparently John Mayer has a show that's also on Instagram Live that had Dave Chappelle and Daniel Caesar on it at the same time. I think they was recapping in the green room. I couldn't really figure out what was going on there. But they get on there. You? <laughs> Forget it. Don't. I'm not. Because I, I was working on the top part. <laughs> I think the tie is where I went wrong. But the U was on. <laughs> go ahead, bro. So I think. Black me, why'd you go to Utah? Utah. God damn it. I'm just not cool to work. All right, fine. It's cool, man. Go ahead. It's, it's all right. Do we, have, do, we have, do we have sleep My mic cells? is off. My mic is off. My so, mic is off. So I think John Mayer was trying to get like in his recap bag or something, and he had Chappelle with him. So they were sitting on the couch, I think, trying to get like our podcast vibes off real quick. Mm. Mm. He did have art. And in the then back uh, too. Mm. he was in his sober bag. So he was like, yo, tell me what you think. Of Daniel Caesar on this fake recap that's supposed to look like we're chilling. Mm. Yeah, I think he's gay. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel Caesar happened to be sitting behind the camera. <laughs> right. Blend, blending in. Camouflage. <laughs> and, and, and felt somewhat of a way about that comment. Mm. And then John Mayer was like, yo, no, he didn't mean it like that. And Chappelle brought the camera and said, nah. <laughs> no. <laughs> you gay. <laughs> Listen, man. You gotta have fun, man. Yo, it's, Chappelle it's was drunk as he was fuck and smacked. That. Drunk Chappelle is great, though. Yeah, drunk, yeah. Drunk Come Chappelle on, is amazing and should get a special every single day. I, I would watch it. Yeah, I agree. Yeah. Um, oh shit! Speaking of specials, uh, Kevin Hart says his his first Netflix special is releasing next month, April early. Uh, mm. I feel like I've seen Kevin Hart on Netflix in a stand-up. I've seen uh, several. I think his stand-ups are on Netflix, but they but weren't not Netflix for exclusives. Uh, Netflix. Yeah, there's a difference. All right. Well, you know Kevin Hart get a lot of get a, catch a lot of heat for some of his stand-ups. For um, what? Not his stand not being funny. For not being funny. Oh, oh, oh okay. Funny. I thought you meant like things he was saying in the stand-ups. I was like, oh, I yeah. think he's one of the safest comedians yeah, no, ever. No, no, no. <laughs> I'm not talking. He's oh, very, little. Very <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, now I remember that bit. <laughs> That's all of the stand-ups. Say that, say that again, Parks? <laughs> Just watch it. It's on Netflix. Okay. <laughs> yeah, Dom Little rebrand. Dom Little rollout. No, it's just the brand. I'm, not, I'm not threatening. Uh, your man Odell is out of here. Wait, were we finished with Kevin Hart? Yeah, I think oh. we're done. Uh, yeah. Did you want to get further into it? 
yeah, yo, 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 I didn't want to end on such a horrible note. Was like, what? What's wrong? What are they saying? I was like, he's not funny. Oh, all right, Odell. I was like, <laughs> like no. <laughs> I was gonna like soften it a little bit. Like he sh- he should take his time with the content in this one. I don't I don't think I think he can ill afford to have those rumors linger that anything about this is not not funny. Yeah, that that's all. Especially after this is big after that Oscar shit. Like I think yeah. he has a big opportunity to do his it. window I feel is like, yeah. I would, nah, I won't, not I'm as not, a, not say, as a star. I'm, I'm not, yeah, I, no, I'm, I didn't say as a star. I mean, as a stand up, win- maybe his yeah. window of convincing people that he is actually funny. Stand up funny. Stand up funny. Yeah. Is, stand, there's is, a difference between being funny yeah, in a movie stand, and a funny character funny. actor, right? From being I'm just saying funny. that window. Yeah, yeah, shoot, is, it was a bit, his, and I just feel like I hate Chris, to be that his earlier stuff was good, but he was a good stand up at one point. I've never, was. I've never seen a Kevin Hart stand up that I thought was very funny. When he was doing the, the Soul Plane nonsense, he was actually a great stand up at that Soul time. Soul Plane was hilarious to me. Yeah, it was. To me, it, it was. was. I had a blast funny. watching Soul Plane. Soul Plane was Well, funny. he was a great stand up during that time. What is like that? Like strictly a stand up. I guess I'm only speaking about timing. I, I feel like Chris Rock dropped specials at amazing times. So I think for Kev, I think this is a really great time to do it if he goes about it the right way and again who the fuck am I to tell Kevin Hart how to do it I think he has the capacity of being I mean I agree agree. Kev is in the the volume game so he and that's why it's it's difficult to judge him because he is in the volume game and he's made all of our incomes 50 times over (laughs) more than but that's why we have a podcast because we have opinions on dudes richer than us (laughs) (laughs) never looked at it like that (laughs) <laughs> uh, never looked at it like that. Well, yeah. Imagine if you just couldn't have an opinion on people richer than you. Like, right, why, that was what we pot about. Yeah, that was <laughs> I wouldn't do no pardon. I wouldn't do no pardon. I wouldn't okay. do no pardon. Hey, you didn't give your input on whether you thought Daniel Caesar was gay or not, like Dave Chappelle. You just reported what he said. But what do you think about it? I no, I do not think Daniel Caesar is gay. I wouldn't know. Not that there's anything wrong with that. You know? Me neither. There's nothing wrong. He can, wrong. I he never, can be whatever never, he wants to be. I never met he's, him. He's, except my downfall. <laughs> he sang about women pretty consistently. So. <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. All right, let's get the sleepers. All right, it's cool. Don't worry about it. Let's get the sleepers. Nah, now Pucks, just... Pucks kind of looked at me like, hit it. So I was like, nah, all right, all right, all right. Uh, yeah, check it out. Thank, great podcast. Thank you guys for joining us. Really yeah, happy. But Odell, though. Odell, Odell, though. Odell, though. <laughs> Oh, Odell. We didn't talk about Odell. I'm so yeah. glad Odell is gone. <laughs> and that's what I got. Yo, Cleveland's about to be super I am super so, nice. hey, go have a blast out there in Cleveland. We all will witness. <laughs> Cleveland will be super Tr- nice. Tristan gonna hold you down. Him and Jarvis. Jarvis gonna be fucking acting a fool. Mm-hmm. Y'all thought Jarvis didn't produce last year. He's gonna ball out. Yeah, I know. He is. Yeah, I know. I know. You pick him first round. I might. No, Does this uh no, you no, you no, you I would never I'd pick a receiver first round. Does this I'll mean it's over for, for Eli man? Getting rid of the, the number one receiver. Obviously you don't particularly care about your passing game at this point. Listen, it's not <laughs> smart. Throw the tight end, bro. <laughs> I, I don't think that the Giants would have ever offered Odell that contract had they known what how Saquon yeah. was gonna produce. Yeah. So they paid him, they found out how Saquon was gonna produce. They immediately immediately looked like they were building behind him now and moving behind him. Yeah. And I think Odell I think Odell saw the writing on the wall. Yeah. I think I think he saw it. There's just nothing else for him to beef about when you when you command that type of a large contract that they gave him. Uh also when you're that far from winning and you have that large of a contract on a receiver with a quarterback that you don't know if he'll be here the next day or two, it's no point in having Odell there. Especially what he's he's exhibited on the sidelines. I'm not talking about all the passion and shit that white people try to make us deem threatening for exhibiting. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about if I got a guy like Saquon who just seems like such a high character guy, the last thing I want to do is put him around the diva wide receiver receiver who's making a hundred million dollars and has all the influence in the world in this locker room. That's how I took it when they let Landon leave who had a lot of influence in the locker room outside of their rebuilding and and trying to restructure their cap because they were way over. They got rid of all the guys they gave a lot of money to. Olivier Vernon, who uh, Olivier Vernon, who I loved. Uh, Landon Collins, who I loved, but I understand. And now Odell, who generational talent, but I certainly do understand getting him off of the team. I don't care if they lose next year. I don't care. Yo. I don't care. <clears throat> Cleveland Get, is tank, tank, be tank nice. for Zion. 
Tank for Zion. <laughs> Tank for Zion. I don't care if they lose. Shout out to Odell. It was a nice run. The boat picture got a lot of likes. I know Trey Songs is going to be sad. What's Drake going to Drake going to be in Cleveland? <laughs> That's close That's to right Toronto. There, yeah. yeah, it's right there. Drake that might have been, been the move. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. yeah. uh, a short flight. Uh, I see what they did. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I can't wait to see his Cleveland haircut. <laughs> Him and Landry gonna be going crazy. You keep saying that they they played ball together in college. I, I'm aware. Yeah, you didn't see all the footage of them catching fucking footballs, diving all over the place. That's great. Yeah, they're gonna be nice. I'd like yeah. to see it. They're gonna be. <laughs> I would like to see the the Baker Mayfield Odell Beckham fight. It's happening. Maybe we're happening. I don't know. Birds of a feather. I think, I think Giants fans are gonna uh, look back on this and regret it, but we'll see. You know, I think because I think I think Odell is just one of those superstar players that's super talented. Bye. I think it was a yeah. smart move. It was yeah, a good I trade. Just, I just don't think there's any passing game in New York or any future in the next few years. I just for don't it. put I don't put a lot on my running back because Shit. running backs get hurt. They, I, I just I don't. Not know. Not all the time. Not when they're good. If I'm Odell, I'm not staying though. Wide like, receivers get hurt more than running backs. Really. Why not? Why wouldn't you stay in New York? Who's throwing me the the football? I mean, I, I think that they're going to bring somebody in. They're probably going to draft. Uh, I, what's yeah, I think they're going to draft, and then all right, I'm going to rely on a rookie quarterback. You just put it over here. Just, just just throw it over this way. I'll get it. That's how I'm thinking. If I'm Odell, but I don't know. New York always makes dumb decisions. All New York teams. That's true. That's that's fair. Well, because the New York coming fan from a Knicks base fan. is fucking aggressively. The Yankees fickle. try to make smart decisions. They just overpay for their decisions. It's, Listen, you see what, see what A Rod did. Lock, I mean, lock that thing down. That's kind of New Yorkers in general. We overpay for everything. Take that, yeah, Mark. that's true. Take that, Mark Anthony. <laughs> <laughs> Take that, Ben. <laughs> I forgot Ben dubbed it right before the wedding. We never got that story. Hmm. Like two days before the wedding. Was that's it the, really? Damn. Yeah. Yeah, we, we never got it. Listen, man, I hope you guys enjoyed this this podcast as much as we enjoyed giving it and providing it. Uh, we will talk to you guys this Saturday. Until then, please keep us in your prayers. Lord knows we need to be there. And until next time, we bid you adieu. Peace, sayonara, arrivederci, adios, deuces, one.